Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. It's Erlen. Hey guys, oh my God. good it's to see Aaron. everyone. And today we have, we're going to be playing an Atari 8-bit game. Yes, just one. Because we have the exclusive world premiere of a Space Taxi for your Atari 8-bit system. Exclusive. Exclusive world premiere. I'm very excited about I know, this one. I know nothing about it, as always. <laughs> That's great. Which is perfect. It's, it's a good opinion to have. You're it's un fresh. You're unbiased, yet very biased, That's yet ignorant. Right. That's <laughs> right. I'm co-host today. Uh -huh. <laughs> And it's by Andrea Cuchetto. <laughs> Hopefully I'm getting the last name correct. And this is a C64, Commodore 64 port, a game I played extensively back really? in the day. And that's why I was so excited when I heard about this game. And I'm like, I got to have that on the show. I have Perfect. to have this on the show and play it on the show and, and present it in a, a special way. So I'm very happy to have uh, Andrea is in the chat. So if you have any questions oh, that we aren't covering, we'll, we have an interview um, with him, um, written interview, and we have a lot of notes that he has made about his game and the development of the game. So I'm really excited about today. Um, first... Oh, uh, you missed everything, Ivory Tower. Yeah, it's all... It's, it's all... over, actually. It's, we're shutting it down. <laughs> uh, no, we just started. Um, so... First, I want to thank all the subscribers, uh, gently scrolling beside Erlen up. Uh, Alan the Firearms Guard Coder, Atari Nage 74, Atari HB Supreme, BR Poco, Charles Adani Mal, Charles Whelan, Cole Patch One, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Danny BC, Daryl 97, Dr. Mook, Cows, Gamma Dev, uh, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Kabito Kenzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader Croco, Cavell Tavir, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yanis, Mark Spissing, Mick, Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latalmus, Command MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarna, Will, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic 26, Packer, VG Coog, R. Raymond C, R. 70, Render Ghost, Penless VG, Six Sweets, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice, Where Astro Mirrors, Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan K, T Fos, Trek MD, VVG Double Down, and X, Ken X. And just before the show, Kavito Kenzo, Rendered Ghost, and Carl G subscribe. Thank you so much. It is free. Yeah. Free to subscribe. It helps support the show and the cats keeps right. them fed with treats. It's free with Amazon Prime. And we were even so if you don't have that, it's not We were even fun. noting before the show that Carl G is what forty four months oh my subscribed. Oh and my we're God, looking yeah. back, there's some OG people appreciate you guys Super here from the OG. beginning. It's just yeah. wild to think that like yeah. Also, I remember being on the show back in <laughs> 2018, back. you know? Yeah. We were different people. It was a different time. Yeah. It was we've, we've progressed. The 2600 if... was the only thing that <laughs> That's happened. right. It was one console there. Now we've expanded to the whole Atari 8-bit line and a bit more. That's right. It's cool to see the space has evolved so much. And like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we can cover all the amazing games now. Um... Yeah, so we have a poll question um, that uh, Erlen uh, kind of came up with. So, um, how about you uh, intro? Yeah, kind of I, what it's about. Well, the question is: What fifth gen consoles did you have slash play? Um, let's just list them out before yeah. start talking. Uh, N sixty four, PlayStation. That's PlayStation one, obviously. PlayStation one, yeah. Before they had two, so it's yeah, just, so it PlayStation. just PlayStation. Um, Sega Saturn, Atari Jaguar, and 3DO. And that's the ones that are listed in Wikipedia. So we're going to go with that list because yeah. there's always like, oh, four and a half gen, fifth and, and a half and gen. And if there's, all a, that. if there's any that you think are fifth gen, like hit them up in the chat. It'd be uh, interesting to hear too. Yeah, when they were current systems, yeah. when they came out, not now because we can collect all the Forgot things. Forgot a non option. All the oh, things. Oh, none. That's okay. Oh, sorry, just don't vote. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just, we were just thinking of, of things, and for me, that was the gen that I, like, my first console that I got yes. was an N64. For me, it was a 2600, um, which is why I do the show. So. Like, I, I played the um, NES, actually, that was my very first one, but it was, there's something about the first oh. console that you get Wearing that's like... Shirt. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shirt. That's I usually good. put a theme shirt. Sorry oh. to interrupt. Oh, no. I was just going to say the first console you buy that's the current cutting edge one is an interesting... Yes. You know, that was... It's, and for me, that was the 64. Um, and then the okay. PlayStation and that kind of world of stuff. So I thought it'd be interesting to, like, hear about people's connection to those to those consoles. Because yeah. for me, that was that was my introduction to sort of really getting into gaming. And so then, did you have one? You played it at other people's house? Yeah. So you had an N64. I had an N64. And what was interesting is back in the day, you would purchase one and it would be often 
being connected to like a thing. And so what happened was, was that I looked at the price of the regular one and for the um, Star Wars pod racing edition, okay. it yeah. was like $40 less and it came with the game. Okay. But it had like a stupid like thing on it, right? So that was the one that I got. So my very first game was Star Wars pod racing. Okay. Obviously that dates it because it was <laughs> released consecutively with Phantom Menace. Go Jar Jar. Yeah. I was like, oh. And then you really realize that whole scene in that movie was really like just to sell these games of pod racing. Oh, like yeah. you realize how much that era of like oh, Star Wars sure. was any, all about. Like, any big blockbuster film they're going to have uh, product tie-ins like in the movie. Uh, and of course in Star Wars they can't do that. So they have to take things from the movie and sell them outside the movie rather than put a Coke bottle in the movie. It's like, well, that's not going to work. Yeah. So they sell stuffed toys and miniatures and video games. So, yeah, it's like, oh, an action sequence. This is going to be a video game. Probably as soon as everybody saw that on the screen, it's like, yeah, that's a video yeah. game. That's going <laughs> to be made into it. Anything in space, anything fast moving, that's racing. Right. Yeah. Um, and then um, uh, those kind of like masterpiece kind of N64 ones that are very, you know, like Mario 64, yes. Zelda 64. Yes. Like there's a couple All ones. top tier yeah. first party stuff. Yeah. And like, and, and like Ocarina of Time, right? Like that is just like, um, you know, that is a real like shift and staple in that Zelda series. And like, I think there's a reason why people still play that game even today. It's just so, yeah. Star Fox as Star well. Star Fox as well. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and then um, Super Smash Brothers. Um, you know, like there's just a lot of that whole era of stuff. That's all the, like the nostalgia. <laughs> Me and James were joking that like I'm old enough now with a disposable income that all the oh, shit from yes. my childhood is now. The, I think that <laughs> era is now coming, curving up to the peak because I think the era before Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo is like past the peak and the prices have peaked and they're coming down possibly at this point and it's always like this 25 30 year lag almost because of the disposable income plus yeah. nostalgia equals boost in prices and you can chart it if you want right. to make money you it's, it's very predictable it's very <laughs> predictable with video games especially uh, you buy, So if you want to make money, go for 6th gen right now, That's buy right. a bunch of stuff up, either the popular or rare ones. That's right. And then wait 10 years <laughs> and, and, and then sell it off. It's a magic formula, but you may be hit and miss on which games, but it's fairly predictable. And yeah, and then, and then PlayStation was a, was a big one as well. I didn't own a PlayStation, yeah. but I would play that at Friends. Oh, and, huge. You that know, was it's one of the best selling and a huge uh, console step of all time. up right like just i, I was um working uh this is my only little funny anecdote is yeah. um in my job i got to work with this sound designer who did a lot of work on video games and he was telling okay. me about how for him the best for us as a sound designer the playstation was the biggest help for him because being able to like have a cd pull off disc yeah. the amount the of storage. data that he could pull it for audio he said it, yeah. it was like he he, and he went from having to like like design music yeah. in these very early and he was like, use this sound and you can use it in a MIDI style format to oh we can actually hire an orchestra yeah and we can <laughs> and we have like yeah. megabytes that we can just plug all our yes. audio in yeah. and like and I think about like um, wonder wonder how it worked it's like okay do the people with the music go we would like this much room <laughs> or is it like here's how much room you have left for music make it work yeah. It's like, well, you have 10 megs left for music. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of looping, a lot That's of repeats. Right. We have a minute long to, to play the music. And um, and we talked about this on the show, but he noted as well just the artistry of those pre kind of like ones of how he was just, he oh, was, yeah. he was remarking like the NES games and he's some of those themes and how he's like, yeah, it's like a designer and composer, like working in that medium to produce those iconic music tracks. It's kind of unreal. Oh, yeah. Okay, so while you guys are voting, looks not so great. Um, yesterday or the day before this uh, was put out, that I noticed the 7800 game drive is now ramping up to be sold. Um, uh, it's been now listed on the Retro HQ website with all the details. Yeah, I got it. Cookies for me. Um, 
RetroHQ 7800 game drive cartridge that allows you to play all your Atari 7800 games and homebrew directly from a memory card with many other extras built in. We've been talking about this for a long time. Uh, it is the next ultimate card to get for your 7800 for compatibility. It's got RGB out built in on the cartridge. No modding the console necessary. Uh, it's got Pokey. It's got YM2151. It's got Kovox. It's got Bop Chip Audio, which is everything. Covers mm -hmm. all the audio. It's supposed to be able to play every single game. Um, the developer is very active if you... Uh, no game drives for uh, like the Lynx game drive and the Jaguar game drive. They are um, absolutely amazing. So, and it's also already listed on Stone Age Gamer wow. as well. It's not for sale yet, um, but it has a price one fifty nine ninety nine US. Um, it is a lot, but you get a lot. So. Um, there are cheaper alternatives. It's a but very niche market. That's the thing about these price, right? Oh, yeah. It is quite niche. So it's, you know, shorter runs. Um, but this is like the ultimate cartridge. There are cheaper ones with less things that are have options. There are some that are now not available, like the Dragonfly, which I use. So this is another option that's coming yeah. up. Uh, there's a tentative, like I've heard of release dates in June... So the fact that they're already listing it, I think that's probably going to happen yeah. sometime in June. I feel like it must in some ways suck because I feel like a lot of the stuff that you guys end up doing, there's, they're niche. So you kind of, <laughs> yeah. whoever, whoever's developing has a corner on the market that is kind of like, well, whatever <laughs> kind of. they choose, this I costs, I, I guess I'll have to decide, you know, it's, it's, it's not it's like a balance because they can't charge too much. But they can't charge too little because they put so much time and effort into it. Yeah. They charge too much, they're not going to sell it. They charge too little. They, unless they're making it for themselves in a super passion project, they're going to just lose money. Yeah. It's going to be a rough time. So if you bought Rick and Vicky on Steam and have the ROM file, it will be ethical. Of course. For me, it would be. Thank you for following. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, on one die vintage people. Thank you for following. Um, yeah, you bought it. You own it. It's like, yeah, they're not losing money out of their pocket. Trying. It comes with the ROM file on the Steam download, and this will actually be able to play it. Yeah. Because it has support for BUP, uh, BUP audio. Is that what it is? BUP? BUP chip audio. There we go. Um, so I, yeah, there's no reason that I think that it would be unethical. Um, and uh, the dev are already said that you can play it in an emulator. His emulator. There you go. That he supplies for free. And he tells you how to get the ROM file out of it. So there you go. And you've given him money. So, yeah. Yeah, the dev. Yeah, exactly, Carl G. The dev even said he didn't have an issue with it. Um, well, that's great. Yeah. There you so got it's your, really good. I think that's a, two green flags. Yep. Go, go, you go. Got, you got James go and ahead. the developer. Oh, don't so take you're... my word for it. <laughs> Definitely refer to the dev. <laughs> I, I can't I, give I, a I just want to get James in trouble. I can only give my opinion. <laughs> I'd be an order, an yeah. agent of chaos. Get me in trouble, yeah. Um, um, and I completely forgot for so long. <laughs> Don't take legal advice from Twitch. Now, yes. that is good advice, dude. That's that the is best the advice. real advice. Take Gamma Dev's advice. So, Do not take a two so you streamer's just, advice. Just go into the the Safeway, and what's amazing <laughs> is all that fruit. You can just start eating it. You can't. Like you can take there's it. no signs that say not to eat it. And then, like, what are they going to do if it's eaten? It's like, well, I can't help. It's gone. <laughs> like, I'm, could am you, I going to buy a half-eaten apple? Like, what, what, <laughs> what if you eat it in the store and then take the core and ring that in, or the banana peel? Yeah, I have seen like you hear people always eating grapes or stuff. Yeah, and if you and if you <laughs> half eat it, you have to weigh the grapes. You put it back, and then someone's. Well, I'm not going to buy a half eaten <laughs> apple. What are you talking about? Yes, don't take advice from him. Um, I've completely forgotten for the longest time to give you your cartridge. My cartridge. The ZPH game. Holy fuck! That you're dude. in. That you're on the cover. Yes, wearing oh a blue shirt. God. There you go. Your uh, cartridge number three, I think you requested that number. My cartridge number three? Yes. So there you go. Signed oh, by yeah. you. It's and a but collector's all, but item. the whole team. The whole team. Yeah, Darcy's on there. 
some guy named Aaron, uh, Tanya, that guy? some guy named James. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, so. you, and you know who else is on this cover, man? It's, you know. <sighs> yep. Yep. Pixel. Pixel, just man. Just passed on. But Atari's on there well, the, as the well. O, one of the OG greats. Sprite, you know? Sprite didn't make the cut. He wasn't around <laughs> at that point. But yeah, you can you can actually buy this game now in the Atari Age store. Really? I, and I it's have no idea why it's there. But it's there. No, it's it's oh, a fun game. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, that's you're so, welcome. That's so lovely. Yeah, I mean, you have to have a copy. You're right. You're in it. Yeah, man, and also just like be a treasured object for mine. Yeah, put it on a shelf. There you go. People will come by by. Uh, ZPH two Sprite will be a mid level boss. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh yeah. Claws out. And I feel uh, like Atari will now like bite toes. He's the big. He's the main yeah. boss. And Pixel will always Sprite be the the, the the friggin' like Mike Tyson and boss. That's you know. Right. Oh yeah, somebody. Could make a hack to hack in sprite. It's actually not that hard. You just <laughs> yeah, just change some colors. Yeah, you've already got the cat in there. Yeah, and he was he was black. Yeah, that's right, black and white. Um, uh, let's it's see. Time. Oh, yum. speaking of yum, cats, yum, oh, yum, oh, yum, yum, we can do uh, treat time while I do an update on the toe. Are you ready, kitties? Oh, you are. Oh my god, cute noises, guys. Cute noises. Okay, let's lay down the bells. Get this. Competition underway. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, oh Atari's, Atari's fast fucking... lead. Oh my no. god. Oh, oh, double rank. Double hit. It dude. only gives you one though. Oh. Did he just get stolen? What is the stolen, stolen valor? Stolen valor stolen from Sprite. Valor. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, can you close the door? There we go. What happens when they ring the wrong one? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, two. Two, one now. There you go. You rang it. There you go. Two, one for Atari. Atari's in the this lead. Oh, my God. Two, two. Cute guy. I have to give him a little bit of handicap over there and throw the treat to the side. Oh, Sprite's back. He's Sprite's in. Atari, come on. Get that bell. Oh, oh backwards a ring. Sleeper three, two. hit, dude. Very sleeper. Come little on, Atari. Sleeper hit. Three, three. Oh, my God. Three, three. Good one. Good one. Sprite's on it though. He inhales. 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Oh. Four, three. Sprite's taking the lead. Not by much, but this he's is got a, the lead. This is a close game. Oh, 5-3. Oh. oh boy. Come on, Atari. Oh, oh he's on it though today. 5-4. He's, he's ringing this the strong. This is the most neck and neck I've seen this situation. Atari won the other day. What is this? Stealing. Stolen oh. Valor. Oh. Oh. Five five! Oh my God, Atari! He caught up. That's awesome. Oh, six, uh, six five, six five. Oh, oh Atari! Six six. Atari's catching up now. Oh, seven six for Sprite. Come on, Atari! I like how they're fighting over one bell. They've forgotten <laughs> yeah, the, the second bell. The blue is like, eh. Oh, oh! Oh, double eight, double six. tap. Double tap. 8-7 for Sprite. We're almost at game point. 9-7 Nine, Nine, for Sprite. Yeah. We are at game point now. We're at game point. Come on, Atari. Atari, you got this, buddy. 9-8. Oh, you oh, got to go faster. Come on, come, come on. on. Eat it up and ring. Eat it up and ring. It's he's coming back late. for the game point for the, the win. Monster, he's in. Oh, he didn't ring it. Oh, he didn't ring oh, it. Oh, oh, he's like, he's confused. Come on, he doesn't come understand. on Atari. Come on, Atari. Oh, oh, come on. Harder. Harder. Ring it. Nine nine. Nine nine, dude. dude. Oh, okay, it's Atari. anybody's game now. Oh my god. But Atari's got it in his Sprite. mouth. Sprite is very distracted. Sprite's confused. He's very confused. Oh, he's, oh, oh dude, he forgot about his bell, and it's bad. It's bad. It's ten, ten, ten nine. Very close game. Good game. Yeah, dude. and the way he just casually just fucking hits his own yeah. bell at the Sprite's end. Sprite's really good at uh, at hitting the bell. When you start young, you know. I mean, you I wash my hands because they're super. Yeah, when you hit the mitts as a kid, you know, it's like when you get old, you you, you got it, you know. What was your favorite game on the N64? Um, oddly, Castlevania 64, which is regarded as a terrible game. <laughs> Um, and like so. but I but I played so much of it because I really I loved I've always loved the gothic feel uh. and I like the two different characters you could play and it was very hard game but I liked yep. that as a kid and I and the camera it took a lot of like learning oh, how to do first gen 3D cameras brutal. but once you learn it and it was a game which was like every time and I remember like the final boss you have to defeat like 
three phases of it, and I was of so course. young that I didn't like. It, I would get to that end boss and die so many times, and it was like one of the only Start games over. I had. And but when I finally got there and beat him, it was just this like feeling of like true accomplishment. And my uh, my sibling was next to me when it happened, and oh, we would take nice. turns. <laughs> and what what would happen is is there were certain like levels that I were I was better at than them. So they we'd be going doing a phase, and they'd be like, okay, Erlen, you do this section, and then okay, you do this section. It's almost like this team play. Oh, um, yeah. So I think, but much like any of these things you know it's more the the remarking the fondness of that moment in your life and also not understanding like gaming yet yeah. so that these these games always felt far more large than they actually were uh thrust asks how about my own game any news no news yet i've been very busy uh, uh yeah i really need to get programming a lot. I, I, I have that itch. I have to do it's it. It's calling to you. You gotta, you gotta yep. do it, dude. I feel like you, and, you definitely uh, have a supportive community oh, who yeah, can they, answer any questions. Oh, for sure. Uh, Mr. Zarnwoop asks, what's a ZPH joystick? Oh my god, we'll talk about that later. We did talk about it uh, last episode. So if you want the full presentation, oh, it's last sick. episode. But we'll talk about that. But now... Let's do a preamble about Space Taxi, yeah, it's that time. the focus today. Oh, um, so, this all started uh, in May 23rd, 2013. Holy shit. Uh, Ten an years ago. Andrea dude. Tari, it's like a, a conglomeration of two words, Andrea and Atari, and that's his name in the Atari age forms. Uh, the dev, he says, maybe I would need some more practice in order to be good again in assembly, but nowadays we have a lot of wonderful tools compared to the late 80s. Anyway, I'm currently working on an Atari 8 version of an old C64 game. Mm. Uh, it should not be so difficult to convert, so I can consider it a sort of an exercise before t uh, to try with a completely new one. Please stay tuned because I'll give you more info about the conversion in the next days. He did not. It was a 2013 post? He did, yes. <laughs> Ten years later. But in the meantime, uh, Phil San posted uh, a little bit later in July 17th. He said, a friend of mine, not saying uh, Andrea's name, uh, is programming Space Taxi for Atari and is coming along nicely. Seven levels of Atari 8 version are done. Taxi's movement is very nice considering Atari 8 half Horizontal half sprites resolution compared to the C64 one. Speech is not implemented yet. My friend is an Atari Age member. Not saying his name. Um, and then he finally revealed that he was programming it and working on it this year on March 11th, saying, hi all, just, uh, just to give you something to hear, I'm working on a simple, short info document about the whole game. I'm sorry for the long wait. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it has not been possible for me to work on it for a long time. As Phil Sand wrote, definitely the game will be released. And he, and he posted just the audio from the game, and it has like all the, hey, taxi audio, so everybody knew immediately what it was at that point. So let's take a look back at what the origins of this game was it was only released on the commodore 64. it where was does, not ported officially to anything where does the commodore sort of sit in the gens of uh, consoles i just don't know my my old school stuff as well yeah it's it is a computer just like the um atari line of computers uh i believe it was 83 it might have been 82. Um, 1980, maybe it was 82. Oh, but yeah, this is like early 80s. Early like 80s. Is... Um, it had 64K of memory, um, just like some of the uh, later Ataris that were around at the time of the Commodore 64. Atari computers came out much earlier, um, starting in uh, 1977 with Atari 800 and 400, which had, uh, I'm going to get it wrong, uh, 8K of memory. Um, so that's kind of the era that they came out in. So, and it's a mystery. 70, 79? Really? 79 for what? 79 for Atari. Oh, 79. I'm thinking of the 2600. Yes. Uh, 2600 was 77. Uh, Atari 800, 400 was 1979. Oh, so sick. four, three, four years prior. Yeah. Um, I don't think I played Atari uh, C64 until 88. Only one of my friends had one. I think I got mine in... 85 I think 84 85 so not right away 
because you know I got it when there's some a decent amount of software but anyway let's take a look at what the original um, space taxi looked and sounded like on the Commodore 64 So, let me just turn it down. Oh, cool. So you're a taxi, but I'm going to go uh, and read what the Wikipedia says. Space Taxi is an action game for the Commodore 64 written by John Kutcher and published by Muse Software in 1984. So a couple years after the C64 came out, it simulates a flying taxi controlled by thrusters. Uh, the game uses sampled speech uh including hey taxi pad one please thanks up please they're said in a variety of voice pitches creating the feeling of different taxi customers in addition to uh thrusters the taxi has landing gear that can be switched on or off switching landing gear on disables the side thrusters but landing without landing gear destroys the taxi oh. the taxi also crashes when colliding with the environment landing with high velocity or not landing properly, uh, having only one of the gear stands on the platform. So you have to have both. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, or you just fall off. Um, there are 24 different levels in sequential order, and the player has to complete them all. Um, that's good enough for now to read out, because then it gets into instructions. So uh, there it's showing a couple of the... Um, yeah, Lunar Lander meets Uber. That's right. <laughs> that's a perfect description. So you can see there's different pads and you have to deliver, see it says pad one, please, down there. And you have to deliver the person to pad one and then pick up the next person. So the premise is super simple. But as time goes on, the environment gets more and more complicated and dangerous. Also interesting the kind of 3D perspective they're adding with like yeah. the cubes as well, but also interesting like the 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 like these landing platforms as well. Like it's kind of like it is that ant farm point of view, but there's like it a is. little bit yeah, of ant farm point of view. I've never heard that to describe a video game. It's like a side view, but that's a great actually Yeah, for work, I, I've had I had to like um, I've been designing like these murals things, and I found that finally, and I pitched it, and I was like, "This is the ant farm," and everyone understood finally what we were talking about. So it's now in my like lexicon as the ant farm point of view. <laughs> that's awesome. Because it's exactly, and you'll see that all the time. So, um, and I I referenced earlier that there was no official port of Space Taxi to any other platform. But um, in Wikipedia, it says SpaceX Taxi was cloned several times for the Amiga, once keeping the original name and once called Air Taxi. A similar game on the PC was called Ugg. Strange name. Dude, I want the, an Ugg. Ugg, where a player controls a caveman with a flying contraption. For Windows Phone, a remake of the first eight levels was published in 2012 as Sketch Taxi. Also, how good can your flying contraption be if you're a caveman, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, not so great. Just a parachute you jump out of. Yeah, like. and you have to carry it back up to the top. <laughs> um, Space Taxi 2, which I'm going to show you right now, I yeah. didn't know this existed. I couldn't find what platform it's on, but I am guessing it is well, Windows... Oh, yeah, yeah. And it this looks is... like early Windows. Um, also, you can see this is kind of 3... 2004. This is 3D. It is... But it's 2D point of view, obviously, but it is yeah. this, like... I don't think anything was drawn in 2D, uh, 3D because nothing changes perspective. Um, and I think it's wider than the yeah. screen and taller than the screen. So it's a, a scrolling... Uh, a scrolling even, like, you saw the, right. like, rotation of the... Oh! I bet that's pretty yeah. rendered. Yeah, 100%. Um, uh, released by Twilight Games in 2004, is available on their website. Space Cab is a tribute to Space Taxi, created for the At Mega 32U4 based Arju Boy game system. Space Cab can also be played through online emulation. So that is the kind of history, small history of Space Taxi. I played this extensively as a kid. Um, one of my favorite games on the C64. I have a lot of favorite games because this, this, this is up. definitely one of them. I I just love the mechanics. It's one of those games that's really easy to understand, simple to learn, hard to master. It's a perfect. Things. That's a perfect scenario if you can find it. It is. Yeah, yeah. It looks like there's extra obstacles on this um, 
on this uh, <laughs> Dude, Space he Taxi nailed it. 2. It has that Phantom Menace fifth oh, element aesthetic. I, that, I bet that's what they're going for, the clouds. And it's totally everything. right. Yeah. Okay. So it is... Uh, Let's uh, let's get yeah, into let's it. it. And uh, so, it's interesting how that kind of like er, that like futuristic aesthetic. That's like everything's sheen and clean and overly <laughs> polished. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then I I personally prefer like the production design. It's like a little bit more like the world feels used and kind of battered up. And there's like I some like things that. are some things are that's polished, more realistic. but it's like you know because there's a lot of that renditions of the future where it's like everything is like it feels like everything has just gotten out of the lot or was just built, <laughs> you know, yep. just completed. So, this is an exclusive world premiere! Excellent. Okay, let's load it up. Ready to risk our lives for fourteen dollars a fare? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these people are very brave that are uh, that are taking these uh, taxis. There we go. Wow! Wow! <laughs> no, I'm just remarking <laughs> oh, on that. this 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 thing. I was just examining this. It's really nice. This. Um. So we're going to be playing with the um, Double Down ZPH joystick because it has a settable second button, and I've set it to up, which is the thrust upwards. So you can either press up to, to thrust upwards or press the second button. Oh, so that button kind of it's like... It's assignable oh, with dude. this switch. It's, it's so good. It's custom. It also, is what's this button It's literally custom. Do? Don't touch it. But it's the problem is, is that like how my hand wants to hold. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Tanya pressed it accidentally. Because that's too. exactly where my hand goes, right? Yeah. Because if it were like, See, I don't hold the joystick like that. I, oh, a little bit. Oh, well, actually, I play it like this. Yeah, it makes sense. I think it's because like of the like the hand position, right? Is just like I think you're used to newer controllers, Xbox, where it's on PlayStation. The side. You, even there's the generation even gap. Even 64, right? Like it's you hold yes. everything is held like. So load up 0526. Today's date. Space taxi. Let's go. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh, there's no bites. It's a one-time thing. <laughs> it's a one-time. I only get one bite. Space Taxi loading. Oh, sick. It's added in the Atari logo there. Slight change from the C64 uh, version. And this is an ATR version of the game, so it's pretending it's loading off of disk. Yeah, the other thing, too, is I'm always looking for... Uh... <laughs> the shoulder buttons. The four shoulder buttons. You get zero. No shoulder <laughs> buttons. Actually, there, there are some shoulder buttons on the Jaguar. Um, yeah. with the six button controller the pro controller just those like so th there was not even an unofficial version of space taxi made for the atari 8-bit there we go space taxi by john f kutcher and i must remark this is an a official port of the game because john has given his approval really? the original programmer for the c64 to andrea it's copyright 1984 atari version by andrea cuchetto Joystick up for high scores. Fire button to begin. So press up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Or can I can the second button. I'll push this. Oh, look at that score. $419.28. Dude, risk cents. your life for like... Oh, he's got all the high scores. <sighs> Let's do it. Uh, the screen is on point. Oh, yeah. Immortal cabbies. Okay, so press fire to get back. Um, published by Muse Software, which is the original publisher of the game, who also made... The original Castle Wolfenstein, wow, which inspired Wolfenstein 3D, which went on to Doom, which went on to 
many many games yeah i even played like a a, a 360 um a wolfenstein it, it, this yeah. was like a maybe like 2017 2018 game yeah amazing amazing oh the game. new one yeah i need to play that i have a copy really of really upstairs. good game it looked really um, good i love i love sneaking mechanics good sneaking games or I'm oh a yes. big big fan of that okay so um I think you have enough instructions to go for it. So yeah, and let's... also I'll die a couple times and oh, figure it yeah. out. Like let's let's just let's jump in and see. Well, I, so our options are number of cabbies. We we can do a trade off later, um, but I'll just do one player now. So cool. we have the morning shift beginner, day shift intermediate, night shift expert. So those just kind of start you off on later levels. Yeah. So we definitely want to start at the beginning. There's a standard twenty four hour shift. Not. Quite, I don't remember what that is. We'll have to try it out and see. Um, and then a random 24 hour, which just places us in just random yeah. levels. All yeah. of those feel like, yeah, once you played more. Let's oh, just start before on Before we go on, uh, let's look at the results because oh, they will disappear. It's so interesting. 37%. 3DO. Wow. That was like yeah, the you, not popular one. That was the big. I think James even said when we we're doing the poll, he was like, nobody's going to click, click that one. Maybe everybody. Here it is. Here's the 3DO. Panasonic made a video game system. Uh, it was uh, not so popular. My friend had one though, but it's the only one I ever heard of somebody having. Thank God! Uh, thank God for all the Asian countries that were producing games. Like my God, you know. Oh yeah. Japan and like uh, oh. And then tied for second place is N64, PlayStation, Atari, Jaguar, and in last place with six percent, Sega Saturn. Okay. Just want to make sure that before we got it. So let's pick morning shift. Let's do it. And I'll get, uh, oh, press button harder. Short and sweet. That's what we need today. That's okay. right. A good intro. And so I'll read um, what um, Andrea has written up. Oh, I see. The, the landing is like you click it once and it stays on. Uh, yes. So once you've kind of positioned yourself... Oh, you're gonna. Oh, that was a hard landing. Oh, lots of bumps there. Does it matter That's... how 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 like? Pr I don't think it matters when you pick up the person. So you gotta go straight up. Oh yeah, I'm just. But I'm just when you drop them that. off, your tips will be greatly affected if you land that hard. If you land hard, they'll be like, no, no, no tip for. They'll be like, no, thank you. No. It's cool. It's the same um the same uh, level that we saw in the video. Yeah, this is a a complete replication of the game. Okay, so where it says my... pad one, please. Oh, okay. Where does it say that? Oh, yeah, right at the bottom. Right at Good. the bottom. Okay, I'm going to smoother landing. So, uh, it says, yes, it's true. Many, too many years have passed since my first announcement about a possible Atari 8-bit version of John Kutcher's, Kutcher's masterpiece. Uh, there are different reasons for this long wait. Among them, the fact that sometimes we have to face difficulties and commitments oh. that cannot be uh, ignored or put aside. Correct. But now, let's take a look at some history on the genesis of the Atari 8-bit version of Space Taxi. Oh, you did killed Did I just him. kill him? Yes, you did. Um, you get penalized money. Um... <laughs> By kill, <laughs> killing just, people, it's a very dystopian but future. But destroying, it's like oh, no arrest. Oh, you just get some wages docked. It's like oh, oh, that's too bad. Oh, am I losing money because I'm not like getting there quick enough? Yeah. So no. your tip goes down based on how quick you get to them, how quick you drop them off, your landing. Um, we'll get to What's that. What's he saying? Pad one, please. Dude. Okay. Let me turn it up a little bit. Here. Oh, so this game really like rewards you for. Oh, oh I see. It wasn't quite close enough. Yeah. Uh, in 2013, I regained some time and space to be able to uh, resume my old passion for the fantastic, I think I can turn up a little bit. fantastic Atari machines. I owned and used many Atari over the past decades, and among them, my first 800XL, which is what we're playing on, personally purchased in 1984 and still perfectly working. In the latter part of the 1980s, I also created and distributed some titles for the Atari 8-bit, White Circus, Hypnotic Land, and Conquer the Crown. Programmed in machine language using rudimentary tools such as the BBK monitor, it was not possible to use macros or labels, and the input of commands and data related to graphic and sound was done sequentially and manually. Ouch. In addition, there was no internet, and finding information and documentation was almost impossible. Now, on the other hand, we find ourselves in a completely different reality. 
With fantastic tools at our disposal, with very reliable emulators, the opportunity to program in Windows and then transfer the code to real machines, virtually endless documentation, and several communities of enthusiasts and experts, uh, Atarians ready to collaborate. A programmer's heaven. Dude. Uh, therefore, mainly as an exercise and gymnasium to put my hand on assembler programming again, I tried to convert Atari 8-bit uh, some levels of the well-known C64 game Space Taxi that I had always liked very much, but which didn't exist for my beloved Atari. Uh, honestly, I had no intention or pretension of succeeding 100%, also because it was a game in high resolution, with 16 colors on the screen, dozens of different levels, lots of sprites moving at once, and most importantly, the very famous human voice that had amazed Commodoreans uh, uh, all over the world back in the day. Hey, Taxi! How you doing? Pretty good. Oh, no! I just asked how you're doing and you died. Yeah, I'm trying different techniques out that are oh, not okay. working necessarily. So there's 24 levels, which means a 24-hour shift. So you can see it's you're at 3 o'clock, which means level 3. Um, in summary, I had to face considerable challenges and unavoidable decisions. The first was to opt for a lower resolution in order to have at least five colors on screen, which I would later increase using programming techniques such as DLI. Uh, obviously, the forced choice to forego high resolution could also affect playability and fluidity of movement, but the result of the first experiments was encouraging. No problem with the creation of the physics of the game, the menus, the management of the first logic, what happens if I land and there's is or not a customer, how I have to count the score, how I manage fuel consumption, etc and in the creation of the first simple levels. When I got to the sixth level, Taxi Pong, however, I ran into a huge problem of moving objects other than the taxi and the little man, for which I already used all the available player's missiles. The same problem would have recurred even more heavily in level eight, Crossfire, and some later to levels when objects moving at the same time were really too many. Uh, and Phil Sand says, DLI display list interrupts. Uh, due to the lack of free memory available and trying to avoid a software sprite routine in character mode, I decided to use in levels with many sprites a hybrid character bitmap mode in order to manage the movement of objects in a simpler or less complicated way. I proceeded in this way until the end of 24 levels plus one, having a lot of fun looking for solutions to the various problems that each level posed. The black hole attracting the taxi, turbo speed consuming more fuel, the level with the magnets, in inverted the level gravity. Of magnets? What are we? Oh, oh there's, no. There's some crazy levels. Oh, no. Yeah. See, I thought I was doing well. I think it's about... There's also fuel on this level, so you got to watch your fuel at oh. the bottom. Oh, pain. Yeah, the pain is coming, bit the by pain. bit. You've made your way through the uh, the uh, trainer through levels the pretty much. Now it's 4 o'clock. It's time the to get serious. Levels. Oof. Oof. A little rough. It's okay. But you're making money. $62. Okay. Yep. How's my fuel? Oh no, is that wall gonna kill me? Oh yeah, it's Everything. all gonna kill me. All except for the black. Oh boy, that's a rough landing. But he doesn't care. I don't think it matters if you, I'm gonna watch when you land rough next time. Well, I think it matters when they're in there. Oh, the green border. Sorry guys, I killed myself and my passengers. <laughs> I don't know how my, my my rating is like. Oh, you're I don't know how they're allowing me probably. to like still, they're like, so he's, he, in the last five minutes, he's killed two people. But his, <laughs> his fares are reasonable. So you take you know, your chance. It's hard to... Oh, Phil Sand says it? you're a good taxi driver. Oh, I he's he's giving you encouragement. Thanks, dude. I need all the encouragement I can get. Um, please, remember, please remember that I never in any way imported, took, or converted t data or routines from the original program. I always enjoyed trying to recreate Space Taxi simply no. by observing what was happening in the Commodore version. At this point, the game was more or less already almost ready, but the difficulty was much greater than, uh, than in the original, partly due to the taxi's movement. Fairly precise, but somehow slow response. And of course, voice synthesis was still missing. The problem related to difficulty has been solved by reprogramming the movement, gravity routine, and slightly modifying some points on the screen where, also due to the lower resolution, the taxi's passage was really difficult. About the... there's some difficult passages right there. That you have what to I'm going to try, I think I'm like... I think this is... 
Is that a tactic to put your landing gear down? Well, um, uh, if if I can like make that, where am I going? Three? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. The problem related to oh. difficulty has been solved by reprogramming the movement gravity routine and slightly modifying some points on the screen where, also due to lower resolution, the taxi passage was really difficult. About the voice synthesis, however, the idea was to give up, raise the white flag and distribute a Atari 8-bit version without the famous and much appreciated speech. But my friend Filippo Santaloco, Santaloco gave me the solution, suggesting me to contact the excellent programmer uh, Janusz Jabowski, who had already included voice synthesis in his wonderful 8-bit version of Bosconian, which is actually a really good version. Oh, played dude. that on the show. Dude, if I was waiting for a taxi and I watched him crash <laughs> three like, times Never before mind. he like makes it. Cancel, cancel like, on your app. Over. I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna like can we get a different driver? Oh you made it. A 76 66. Yeah, AR is good. It's good? Yeah, that's fine. Because okay. yeah, there's always the three, it's that's classic. That's like me and uh Oh, that's true. A E R. Yeah. Yeah, because well, often you can only do the three in. Yeah, the especially course. in the arcade. Try to do. Should I keep you trying another one? I got a lot to get through. You can do it. Practice. Okay, good. Practice um, makes perfect. Yanish <laughs> provided me uh, with a few lines of sample code and some tips for creating samples in the right format. And finally, even on the beloved Atari, you can now listen to "Hey Taxi." Should this run okay on us eight hundred? I haven't got to the. Oh wait. Uh, you need 64K. Uh, I was just about to read that. Naturally, the various sample phrases take up a lot of RAM, about 32K. So just the voices are taking up 32K. Never mind the game. And the only solution was using memory banks in the Atari 130XE. On smaller machines, however, 64K are enough to run the game absolutely identical, but without speech synthesis. So if you're on a 64K machine, uh, you won't get the speech. You have to have... Oh, God. Oh, he came out twice. Um, oh, maybe he had two, two passengers. I think so. And um, But you need a 128 machine to get the voice. So I have um, a U1MB, which is 1K, or 1 meg of, uh, of RAM, so there's lots in my machine to do it. How did they get away with it on the 64, then? Ooh. Good question. Um, finally, in order to avoid any problems with the publication of the Atari 8-bit version of Space Taxi, I contacted, contacted its magical creator, John Kutcher. He has been very kind and, and helpful in giving his permission for a free distribution of my Atari version. Now, before you get to the section with my advices on how best to get through the various levels of Space Taxi, I would like to point out that I'm well aware this version is not perfect. There may be bugs, which could be fixed. There are uh, differences from the original one, and there's no multiplayer mode. I don't see any need of it, by the way. Uh, the quality of the voice synthesis could be improved. We can think about high scores and loading screens different from the original, but looking better. There may be a cartridge version in the future, and I'm open to any comments and suggestions. However, I'm not a top-level Atari Guru programmer. I know I still have a lot to learn. I did it almost all by myself, piece by piece, step by step, and I'm asking nothing in return. I'm a very proud of my achievement, and you should be. Dude, this is, uh, okay. Andre Atari. I don't feel any bugs, man. This is my first introduction to Space Taxi. This is <laughs> sick. Oh, yeah. So good. Like, there's so much going on. And there's so many, there's so much that you can improve. You know what I mean? Like, you can, like, the, your, yes. the, the, the amount of efficiencies that you can create. Yes. The efficiencies um, of getting the, from point A to point B you quickly. You can not die. You can, like, land, land quicker. You can land closer. You can yes. get from A to B faster. Like, it just it's a cool game because it feels like there's a huge amount of just factors that can, like... Good landing. Um, thank you very much to Filippo Santelec Santelico. Oh, my God. Sorry. Filippo. Uh, Phil San, who I believe, yeah, is in the chat right now. And Simone Guidi for advices, support, and beta testing. Oh. Janusz Jabowski, uh, uh, Shanty77 for the important speech synthesis help. And John F. Kutcher for the availability and permission to publish the Atari 8-bit version of Space Taxi. Weird. Okay, I think the same thing happened to me twice. I think I'm just... Oh. So. 
Now we'll get to the interview portion of the show. <clears throat> so I asked him, uh, how many questions did I send over to him? Uh, six questions that were not covered, hopefully, in uh, what I just read out. So uh, I said, question number one, I, uh, you said in your PDF that you've always liked Space Taxi a lot. Did you own a C64 or did you play the game on somebody else's computer? Um, he said, at first I did not own a C64. In the early 1980s in Italy, Commodore machines were unrivaled in terms of popularity, but they cost too much for me. My first encounter with home computers was actually with a friend's C64. We both got into assembler programming and managed to create and publish a couple of games. Lupenio and Valentino that were released in the Italian market. That's awesome. When I started working, I decided to use my first income to buy a computer of my own. But right around that time, the first Atari 8-bits were coming. I ended up buying an 800XL, which I fell in love with at first sight did I kill him? and still use now. Uh, well, a new guy appeared. I think you did. No tip for you on that guy. Yeah, in the early ones, you can, like, run... Th Fuck. No landing gear. Way well, too I hit, hard. I hit it, yeah. Uh, but it's... You would have you would have died anyway. That was a really rough landing. Maybe. Oh! oh. <laughs> You're getting crazy now. Well, see, what's happening is because I wasn't, I was losing. I thought I would like step up the, the game plan. You know, like speed up. And the truth is, is that then more mistakes happen. <laughs> Do you want to be a tortoise or a hare? Apparently, uh, the tortoise true. wins. Um. Oh, as you play these, I'm gonna read out the. Uh, well, I'll read out those later. Maybe you can do that, actually. Um, only a couple years later, I also bought a C128, which now lies inside a box in the garage. Oh, poor C128. Uh, question two. Space Taxi is, uh, is one of my favorite games, is Mia saying it, on the C64 and probably for many others due to it being a perfect mashup of a number of genres. What are your favorite aspects of the game? He says, uh... Uh, Andrea says, yeah, Space Taxi is a really a special game. Easy to learn and to play, but challenging. Very, very varied with its 24 plus one. Different levels with the revolutionary voice synthesis. What I really like about the game is that each level is different. It's not enough uh, for you to learn how to control the taxi because the obstacles and difficulties are always changing. You have to fly between narrow passages, avoid balls or bombs, fight against the attraction of large magnets or a black hole, withstand the winter wind... <laughs> handle interferences that disrupt your flight learn new controls with the joystick then there are growing plants teleports invisible barriers laser gates moving platforms and much more in short there's never a dull moment and each game is different from the previous ones i guess if you kill the passenger he can't give you a bad rating gamma dev says that's so the rule to live it's by it's a tactic actually. it's like if he's giving you sass he's out of here <laughs> um I feel like I'm, we're like the cab driver from like Total Recall. You know? like Johnny Cab! <laughs> that's you know? right. Lots of... That's, that's, a, that's a big theme in, uh, in movies. In uh, futuristic setting movies, they always have to have a taxi in there. Yeah, there's Some an Some portrayal of a taxi. Yeah, absolutely. And it's always crazy. It's always something like, like in Fifth Element, it's like a flying taxi. Johnny Cab, it's a, an AI taxi. Uh, always fun. Uh, only a couple years later, I also bought a C... Oh, sorry. And obviously there's the well-known and appreciated Hey Taxi, which is the, was the coolest thing on the C64. What has been the reaction from the community and since you've announced that you're developing Space Taxi? The Atari fan community is amazing. It's incredible after how, so many years, there are still so many fans around the world and now everyone is ready to help or support others. Definitely having virtual places to meet like Atari Age web pages helps a lot. When in 2013 I decided to program the first level of Space Taxi, I didn't think I would ever get to the end. I had started just to practice with Assembler using the new tools available to programmers, but when I later f finished the second and third levels as well, I shared these results with my friend uh, Filippo, who runs a nice uh, web page has become a reference point for Italian Atari enthusiasts. Yeah, it's, it's a really good website. A uh, really good Facebook page. Uh, he then spread... Or, and website. Um, he then spread the word and response uh, was really good. A great expectation was created, but honestly, there were still so many difficulties I had to face. And during that time, I unfortunately had other problems to deal with that did not allow me to make progress with Space Taxi. 
I was able to resume in 2018 completing practically all the levels and solving the problem of software sprites to go alongside player missile. But then again, there was another stop. In 2023, I took over all the work again. I refined it, added load management, score saving, got rid of a lot of bugs, but most importantly, rewrote taxi movement uh, routine and with a little help from other programmers, added speech synthesis. Now I can really tell all my Atari friends we did it. And I'm happy to be able to give this Atari 8-bit version of Space Taxi to the whole community. Uh, I found an, an, an another tactic is to land close as possible to him. Yeah because your money's still going down. But that's if you're going for score. Uh, also, like, the fact that I keep dying, like, every 30 seconds, I'm just like, if I can just, like, <laughs> land this and get some money and keep going, that's a that's a W for me. Thrust, uh, <laughs> thrust says yellow cab. By the way, the term taxi is based on the German Thurn and Taxi's family. Oh, shit. Interesting. Next question. I found a number of times that the same game happens to be ported on multiple systems at once. Space Taxi for the Atari 2600 is currently being developed right now as well. Were you aware of this version was being made? Uh, when I resumed the project in early 2023, I read the news about the work in progress on a version of Space Taxi for the 2600. That's great. I find it incredible that the same year you can have both versions practically at the same time. Uh, I think the program was very brave in tackling such a difficult game to bring with, to the glor glorious Atari console. The limits of the machine will engage him hard to complete all the different levels, but I'm sure the playability of the 2600 version will remain intact. Plus, there's the bonus of having the Atari Vox for the voices. That's right. You don't have to do um, in the game on the 2600 uh, the voices, which are possible. Oh. There have been a number of games with voices, even way back uh, in the 80s, there were, were voices uh, for 2600 games. But I think right I'm, I might need to accept the fact that I'm maybe not very good at this game. <laughs> take How some are practice. you with, with thrust games in general? I, I think I, it, the reality is, is that I've played so few of them. So I don't have right. a lot of skill. Like, that's the interesting part, I think, about, like, different gens of consoles and stuff, right? Is that True. there's weird skills. Like, like I bet you if we played an FPS, I would just, like... Oh, you'd mop the floor with but, me. But, 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 but it's just... I'm just I'm not play, terrible at them. But it's just but. time invested, right? Yeah. Um, versus I would say that I have the only games like this... Pad 6. Pad 6. Okay, cool. The only... <laughs> I, I have no money, though. He's like, drop me on Oh, no! Six. What happened to the money? Uh, did I, I've crashed so many times. Oh, it's, it's, you're, you're just doing it gratis. Oh, yeah. Do but um, but I just think I, I just don't nothing. have as much um, practice with it. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's not... definitely like a skill set. Like, maze games are a different yeah. skill set. and just, like, just time invested in these kind of style of games. But but you can even see, even just from, like, the however long I've played, I'm getting better. Like, if I were to oh, play yeah. a bunch of these, I could probably do it. But it's cool to play something. It's nice thing about dipping into older games is there's core mechanics that are just, like, very, very different. Okay, eight? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, I'm oh, thinking yeah. I'll beat my score. No, uh, don't speak we'll, too we'll soon. We'll get to the cheat modes in a bit uh, when I play if I don't make it. Um, <gasps> Dude, I think I just beat my score. Nice. 93 bucks. Make okay. it to 100. You could do it. I'd oh, love another to. easy one. Okay, four. Uh, question five. Uh, what were some of the more difficult aspects porting the game to the Atari 8 bit? What were the things that you found <sighs> easier than you thought? Oh, that's it. Oh, I hit the button and then it just for some reason didn't trigger. I think oh. I, was, I think I hit it too short. Um, yeah, that button has a long travel, so you need to press it in. Oh no, James will James will play the other levels. Um, do I want me to, do I want me to do another go while you read or do you want to no, go? No, you your can. Call? Let Let's switch over now. Cool. Where are we at in it? Um, you could do the answer for question five about what was difficult and what was easier than you thought. Okay, let's do this. Morning shift, right at the beginning. Um, uh, I, I apologies for some of these like um, numbers that I might not necessarily know, but so okay. it's like, so what were some of the more difficult aspects of porting the game to the Atari 8-bit? Were there things that you found easier um, than you thought? 
And his answer is, of course, importing from C64 to A8B. Atari 8-bit. Atari 8-bit, sick. Yeah. One of the main difficulties often concerns the characteristics of Commodore sprites compared to the Atari PMs. In the 8-bit Commodore, um, having the ability to uh, easily handle eight multicolor 21 by 24 objects makes things much easier. In the end, in order to achieve an effect similar to the original, I had to program a custom routine for the software sprites, which means having um, uh, having to handle movement, but also, um, in example, screen cleaning and collisions using the colors available in that portion of the screen. Relating to the easier things, certainly the friendly um, handling of different character sets, but especially uh, DLIs and VBIs help me a lot. Do you know what those are, DLIs and VBIs? Uh, not completely familiar with them, but they're, I believe, ways to divide up the screen so you're able to do different graphics modes and different color bit depths but don't call me on that yeah i've never heard vertical that. blank um uh, interrupt oh cool okay cool this is one last the last one's a big one um there's a significant attention to detail in recreating oh, as my close God. as possible the original look, sound, and feel of the C64 version in your port? This is James's question. Were there any things that you had to compromise on, and was there anything that you uh, uh, definitely didn't compromise on when bringing it over to the Atari? It's a great question, man. Thank you. Um, thank you for the comment about details. I am particularly pleased because, um, because, as I have always said, I never in any way took graphics data and routines from the original program. All I did was just observe C64 Space Taxi game, reproducing it from scratch on the Atari machine. And this was particularly challenging for the logic that is applied in the different levels. I imagine, dude. I don't know. Like, um, in the game, uh, we see a taxi being lured or moved by external elements or traveling at turbo speed or plants growing into new pads. Um, there is fuel consumptions, there are scores to be given, and, and then lots of moving objects. Bombs, snowflakes, falling stars, ping pong balls, laser beams, sparks, colored blocks, having moving gates and all the different characteristics <laughs> and behaviors that I had to recreate by imagining the logic that Kutcher um, uh, had thought of. Who's right. Kutcher? He's the, uh, he's the original, the original dev creator. for the C64. Oh, version. so that's, that's amazing that he, he really was like looking at the game and then trying to adapt that it. it wasn't yeah. like he's not in there looking at code that's very um, much that's how john champeau works as well and it's it's unbelievable how these developers are able to just observe the game and are able to understand the physics behind it without like looking at the code of how they actually did it There's... but you know you have enough uh, enough practice at it and enough programming experience you you just know it's like oh that's how i can do this or they might even find a different way or a better way of doing it than how it was originally done. Yeah, what's that's the artistry of this, right? Is like oh, yeah. trying to get the feel of the original, but in this completely different medium. Um, and then he wrote, which I think is great. It was challenging, but fun, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> which I think that dot, dot, dot says a lot. The challenging, yes. but fun. Challenging. Hi, I imagine baby. at times more fun and other times more challenging. <laughs> um, <laughs> Buddy. And Thrust says that I remember doing that same for Star Castle Arcade. It requires a lot of attention to detail. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and even like looking at the higher levels as well, especially in like an arcade, you'd have to either look at a long play on YouTube or play it yourself, and you really sometimes need to play it yourself to to know the feel of it um, of the arcade because you're watching a video of it. It doesn't give you a a good sense of it because that's an expert player, obviously, getting to those higher levels. Um, porting the game from the original version, I had to make unavoidable compromises, and the heaviest one concerns the graphic resolution. Mm. Space Taxi for C64 is in multicolor high resolution, and it means not only lines and graphics more defined, but above all, um, a higher number of points in which the taxi can move. The lower resolution in the Atari version gives us enough color, but uh, makes the taxi's movement a little less fluid, and sometimes mm. it's more difficult to fly through passages that appear to be the same size as in the original, but are instead inevitably smaller because of the resolution. Right. Say this passage is like 10, like 12 pixels wide. On the C64, it would be 
24 pixels wide, so you'd have a higher... More minutia. Yeah, more maneuverability, uh, possibly. But you really don't notice it on this, because it's so smooth, right? Um, um, uh, another half compromise concerns RAM memory. The game actually runs flawlessly on any standard machine with at least 64K, but if you want to enjoy the iconic voice synthesis, you have to go up to uh, uh, 128K. Uh, the samples recorded directly from the original audio take up about 24K. So yeah, it's like a huge so, portion of your data is just voice sampling. So he recorded, if I'm getting what he said, he can answer that in the, in the chat. He recorded it off the C64 and then compressed it again <laughs> oh, wow. for the one tw for the Atari. Um, that's what I'm guessing it, by him saying I recorded it. Um, Re yeah, recorded directly from the original audio. Cam. Yeah, and not ripped it from um, from the game. And he said instead, I decided to leave out the attract mode and multiplayer mode just because I don't think they are that important. I guess to presumably save memory. Yeah, it, those are the first things to go. Right. Yeah. Attract mode, it's not not super necessary. Most people wouldn't even see it. And they for would... multiplayer, you got to find a friend to play your... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Which that's, is that's easier, a hard task. easier said than done at times. <laughs> yeah. um, for the rest, I tried to recreate Space Taxi exactly as it is on the C64. So no compromises on taxi, passenger and level looks, playability, number of levels, colors and moving objects on the screen, voice synthesis, the mystery level, and the cheat mode. Yeah. And a little winky face as well. <laughs> you know, as oh, winky God. Um, mystery level being very interesting. I very think interesting. my thruster just hit the ceiling let's see because my thrust um extends past the taxi by one pixel and i think there was a collision between the fire and the ceiling yeah see some and this I was level like, i really uh, i really struggled with i couldn't get past this level so oh. i'm not sh oh my god did i plan you see what i mean it'll it's sometimes it's sometimes you're you'll lose your landing gear Yet, I think because you're either too close to it, exactly. or you touch, and then you take off again. Yeah, I think no. that's happened a couple times to me. Um, and the very last note he says in here, In the end, I know that my Atari version of Space Taxi is not absolutely complete and perfect, but I'm proud about the current result, and I really did my best, and I did it just for passion, smiley face. I love that last little <laughs> statement. It's so true. Oh, you have to do it for passion. Like, he spent 10 years off and on working on this game and i think the other reality of any project that you're doing this statement is true it's like it's not absolutely complete and perfect like oh, what what is. what the what in life is absolutely complete and perfect uh, there's very very Nothing. few things you can say and what's okay. ironic is the perfection the imperfections is it being the thing people fall in love with yeah you know i mean it's not going to be perfect otherwise you know maybe just play it on the c64 if, if you're gonna want an absolute perfect version of it or an absolute perfect clone of it um it's it's the differences that that make it exciting and and the fact that you're able to, oh my god yeah i'm pretty sure the fire just touched yeah i don't know if that's on the c64 this is a it's a really i think this is a beautiful game because um the slow but steady nature of it yes um uh is is required to land some of these precision. hits precision however you're losing money the more time you take so there's a real incentive to like speed up but as you speed up the difficulty of the game gets harder and harder yeah um so it's this interesting like it actually like the mechanics in itself create the difficulty which is such a cool thing i can see why this game is beloved because it's like yeah yeah you the you can skill like, set you need for this is is a lot like to land um uh this perfectly you know what i mean um uh you yeah. need to take your time but you're losing money that's right it's it's race against the clock um but I mean, I don't, I rarely play games for score, um, only f if it's like a high score competition. I always go for levels, unless the game doesn't really go for levels. Uh, oh, there we go. Was, oh God, why are you standing there? That's rough, dude. 
He's like, well, I wanted you to see me. You're gonna die, dude. You're gonna die. Sorry, dude. Sorry. <laughs> that Uber uh, rating is <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, D teacher says, I remember playing this level on the C64. If you were fast enough, you could drop the guy off on pad one and pick up the next guy on pad one oh, and leave wow. the level before the other pads formed. Is it correct? It's the same in this version. I usually do it. Oh, nice. That's yeah. very cool. It's also cool, like, with these games as well, these kind of, like, these little hacks that you learn the more you play. There's, like, I shouldn't say hacks, these tricks of the yeah. trade, right, where, you know... Um, if you're good enough, you can do certain things. Oh, God. You know what they say Learning in games feel. is that movement speed is god tier. If you can move quickly through things, oh, yeah. you can often obliterate mechanics um, that that were made and create unintended things. Um, uh, and often, oh, like, yeah. the rate in which you can roll. This game in particular, though, it's like... out of fuel. This better be the up. And yeah. this is, game is technically, in a way, a speedrunning game. Like, it's kind of the core mechanics are, like, to incentivize you to speedrun. Um, however, if you die, it doesn't matter. Out of fuel. <laughs> and you don't have any fuel to pick up, hey? Nope, not on this oh, level. Oh, so it's cool. Then, yeah, again... This is a race, this one. You gotta move. I was taking too, too long, obviously. A race through the weird tack the weird cactus <laughs> yep jack and the beanstalk now do i start over no I, so I how many i don't this kind of thrust game like what are I, what There's are so some many. of the like ones that you've played that you've like because i i've played so little of them usually i'm not very good at thrust based games um there as you, I think I'm good. Oh, you are good. As, oh. as you can imagine, Thrust uh, in the chat. I was just going to say Thomas Yench is the, the master of making Thrust games and a fan of the Thrust based games. Um, and he's made a game called Thrust and also Star Castle Arcade. Uh, I am absolutely horrendous at playing Star Castle Arcade. Dude, why? Why are you standing like. I'd rather kill you than die. Oh. oh. Up, finally. God tier. I don't think you get any taxis. I don't think you can buy another taxi with the money. You just start with five and you just use them up. It's brutal. It's a brutal world out there. Well, I like to think these are Johnny cabs, so when they crash, it's like, oh, it's we'll just, just get the other AI. <laughs> and, and they're just picking up robots, taking them to work. Taxi pong? Oh God! Um, I like oh, God. Um, Joust. Yeah. Um, that's oh God! Oh my God! Wow, so cool the kind of different mechanics because oh, no. now this is a totally different layer of problems. Oh, does it always hit in the same spot? Is the game over? No. I gotta get out of the way. Oh, I take. Yeah, take it seems it. to be like the far the far left is the safe zone. Oh, Far left on both. Did, that wasn't. No, and the, on the oh. one on the left, right. The far left is the safe zone. And the far and on right. The, exactly. Um, although the number two s seems to land closer to the middle, but it seems to be like the farthest to the like right or left edge. Okay. Ooh, not even. But you gotta time it. Should I just sit here? I I don't know. I think you might need to go. No, you. Whoa. That was close. Ah. Oh. Hope I get it. Oh, this is punishing, cause like. And now you, there's no room for me. Ah. Uh, and you, you gotta land when the ball's on the other side. Yeah. Really. Up. Oh, good. It's a okay. Short okay. So level. that's good. That's good that you just kind of blast through this and get out. I think it's based on the platforms. How many people you have to pick up? A that little bit. Sense. Yeah, it, it just seemed to be on a fixed trajectory. That's um. That was a note from. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so I go in oh. this, right? Oh, the teleport. Where am I? Oh, that didn't work at all. There we go. So it's just random teleportation. Damn. Which is not too bad. We just need to see the new mechanics. Um, a little tough on the eyes this level, though. <laughs> yeah. A little okay. bit like, ooh. A little bit wiggy. Is this part of the, that's part of the challenge rating, I think. Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Just this level. Random. Hopefully they. Oh, good. 
Dude, what's why do crazy you live about in this? this ride is that when you stare at the like at the um the taxi, you yeah. the this this the movement changes, but if you look at the movement it changes, so it's kind of like just where your eyes are focused. Yeah, because there's only so many frames and oh, they're moving no. so fast, it's almost Oh, what did I do? I you, just you, left. Yeah, no. you had it. Oh good. Okay. Okay, good. they brought you right back. Make your whole five dollars. There is something going on with the landing gear. You can hear it beep, but the landing gear doesn't come out sometimes. Yeah, there's a couple times I feel like I died. Um, but it's also a matter of like, um, maybe also part of the technique is learning how to kind of anticipate the landing too. Um, uh, I think there might be a debounce problem, but I don't see the landing gear coming out. But I'll have to play with that. Three. Yeah, if you cross your eyes just right, you might see a 3D scene in the borders. <laughs> That's right. That's right, dude. Oh, nice. This better be the last pickup because totally right. um, running out of fuel. Yeah. There's no fuel to get. Oh, number one. Number one customer. There we go. Nice, lucky. Up. Yes. Just in time. Deliver me to pad yeah. five area. Yes. Oh, now I have to not touch it. Oh, that was this, close. You got this. Oh, oh, you're so close. Okay. Um, oh, as we're going through them, you should read out number eight, Puzzler, all about the level. Oh, sick. Okay. The eighth level closes the morning shift and requires some practice before you can manage it easily. By touching the white dot, uh, the dots, uh, you can close slash open the gates between the various areas, but understanding the sequences necessary to open the right path to the chosen destination could not be easy. I underline that you shouldn't have to worry too much if once landed, some of the open gates will be closed again. It will, um, it will be always possible to reopen them by touching the correct spots in the proper sequence, but oh God. watch out for the fuel consumption. These are the effects of the different white buttons oh on the gates. Um, uh, so he has a code, but I don't. I can read it out, no. but I don't think we're gonna remember it. Oh no! Don't touch it twice. Oh God! This. Oh, well, I have zero lives left. So yeah, I made this it to just eight um, o'clock. This just like, uh, you know, like what was it? Difficulty is like. You're a good player, James. You almost finished the morning shift. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, oh. dude. I couldn't get past this, like, what, the third level? Maybe the fourth level, but probably the third level, I think. So, what does the day shift start at? Oh, that is the last one before the day shift. So, we got to finish that one. Yeah. So, we were going to skip ahead and keep moving. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I have to be somewhere else. I'll just have to die. I don't know if there's a quit. It's got, it's got to be. How many lives do you have? I think have? the people on that level should consider working remotely. Yeah. There's 24 levels. I really think so, one. too. Yeah, like, like let's let's get some Zoom meetings going. Like, oh, do we... this is a good time to... Atari's stealing your spot. No, it's working. I don't know. Stealing my spot. He's like, this spot's warm. Why do you want to be warm? It's hot today, kitten. Press start to reset. Go directly oh, to menu. You. Yay. Yeah. Look at him, like, trying to just be as cute as possible. He knows. So... We were on eight. Yeah. Good luck to me. Okay. Okay. Gotta move. Gotta move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Okay. Let's keep that. Let's see if I can get things. Wow. There's a me there's a significant number of levels. <laughs> Twenty-four. Oh, that's not what I wanted to touch. Oh, I don't know if this opens the blue. Does now I need to open that? Oh my god! You have to do a puzzle while trying to survive. Now and not run out of fuel. Yeah, well, I've got a fresh new car. Oh, come on! Oh, what? Oh, do I have to go in that orange? 
Oh, now I have to open the yellow, but it's going to switch it over. This is nightmare level. A really hard game. Okay. Okay, now you gotta go through there and down go. to three. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's, this let's see what happens here. Hopefully, it opens. This is a puzzle, right? right? I think it will. Oh my god! Oh my god! Really? Okay, so this is ultimately like the more you play this, the better you'll be able to do it. I finally get him after. But you have to not hit that thing. Yeah. Hey, buddy. It's gonna cost us a whole. Gonna oh, us a whole two dollars! Two bucks, man. Thank you. And they start closing too. Hey, it's bright. That's wonderful. First time you've oh, visited, buddy. Good God. to see you. Oh, yeah. Oh no, he's dead. No, <laughs> all that. All that for nothing. Oh, it's still open. Good. Okay. It's the first time sprites really kind of come to you. That's the thing with cats, man. You just wave and look at them. Ooh, rough one. Had three, huh? Cat is sad now. Yeah, he is. Atari's <laughs> like, I wanted the spot. Yeah, well, dude. Okay, is any of these open three? Not that one. It just closes everything. It just closes things up. Oh, look. It's for us. Oh, no. So punishing. Unfortunately, in the C64 version, you have to know which gates each point open or close. Otherwise, you go randomly and it's difficult to finish. Oh, God. Yeah, so I, it sounds like... Um, you just have to know the level. Yeah, it's, it, it's a... You have it's, to make notes. Ultimately, it's a puzzle game. Yeah. And a fuel challenge. Uh, yes. So... This says day shift is rough. What's it like at closing time? Yeah, we haven't even made it to like. This Back is technically the beginner level. It is. I'm pumped to see like the. Thank you for following somebody who followed. Ooh, um, uh, uh, Atari 7800. No, is that right? Am I crazy? I don't know. There we go. Uh, it's in my list on the screen up to my right on my main computer. In the um, middle information section, they'll give a bunch of things for people subscribing. There we go. Yeah, it's Atari 78. There we go. Sick. You got it right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. Thanks for following. Actually, it doesn't show up there. So, yeah. Pad 4. Uh, there's two doors. It's a hard game, dude. Oh, it's open. Oh, three of them are open. So. And oh, you're fuel. running out of fuel. It's oh my god. What a punishing level. It attacks you come from like all ends. Still two are open. Okay. But it's almost like Not you know, you it. might almost want to just like crack. Or try to see if you can open it, I guess. Yeah, I something. can open this one. And as long as he goes up no, I'm not gonna run out. I'm gonna run out of Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> it's like, answered ah. for us. Does it reset when you Okay, good, yep. good, good, good. Full fuel. You get Full a fuel. brand new taxi. Okay. Johnny Cab 4.0. That's right. <laughs> if I can complete this level, that means I can move on. <gasps> I did it. Even by cheating, like, as long as I complete a level, we're going to just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There. Ooh, that was d dicey near the end. Afternoon shift. Time to... Or crash. Time to step it up. Oh no! There we go. Just crossfire, dude. Just loading. Holy shit! Crossfire. That's that's a brutal level. I don't think I can make it through without like the chart. Oh god. Cool. So um, uh, the first level of day shift is not easy at all. Yeah. Avoiding <laughs> the bombs fired by the two cannons with six trajectories and three different speeds. It's not a joke. In particular, remember not to stand on pads two and six because the bombs Whoa. might hit you anyways. Also, if you've if also if you're landed yet. With a bit of practice, you will find out which are the safe places uh, to wait for the right time to land on the different pads. So it seems like the technique to this is to find where am I safe, yeah. and then how can I like feel out this trajectory? Because yeah, it's like th different trajectories and speeds are produced like this, like different. Use up so much fuel on this level by trying to avoid the balls. 
Thanks. Hey, taxi. The um, funny thing is, it's one sample of Hey Taxi, and they just speed it up and slow it down. That's so funny. It's playing back the sample. Like playing a sample on a keyboard. Beep, beep, burp, burp. Oh, God. Ah, no! I have humans aboard! Pad 2. Why are, Why do these people live in this... The real thing? taxi. The rent's low. I understand the rent's low, but it's so... Ex it's, you're gonna die where you live, dudes. It's Man, if I were in this situation, I'd just try to find another way. <laughs> but this can't be the way. This can't... Also, like, what kind of rent are these folks paying for for oh. these, like... Just they're they're paid to be here for sure. Like, Abysmal nobody would, situation. Nobody would live Imagine here. Imagine going outside like, and it's just like <laughs> bazookas. You're like firing holy! Are you. you just trying to go to like the Safeway? Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> deadly. Your everyday life is like, this is a war zone. And you like situation. And imagine you just get picked up by this taxi and it's like, sorry, I, we ran out of fuel. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Why didn't you fall fill up? Falls from the sky. Ah, ah, ah. Like, I trusted you. Ah, oh my god. Up. Oh good, we're out of here. Yeah, let's... Out of here. I only have one life left. It's my last taxi. Luckily, we have the Corbin we, Dallas has got, run out of credits. We've got the, the cheat codes, <laughs> man. <laughs> yep. Shooting, shooting stars. stars. Like, it's all terrifying. Okay. Shooting stars um, falling down from the sky could hit your taxi, even if it's landed on some paths. Oh, However, it's possible to avoid the impact by quickly moving the taxi in the wide sky. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Where's yeah. Where's evade? <laughs> evade. Um, oh, no, he's buried. Pay attention to the shooting stars during passenger pickup and drop-off operations in pads 1, 2, and 5. As written, oh, you actually. could be destroyed also standing on a pad. Oh, I remember uh, that there would be also a refueling pad, but usually mm. there was no need to use it. Fortunately, because the refueling pad is not really easy to reach. Ah, my return key needs some love. Yeah, no, no Uber is in such an area. So what level was that? Is it 10? Um, yeah, this is 10. It's neat that we get to like we have those codes now finally a challenge this is exactly what thomas likes this is thomas because is. you're going in through caverns and stuff classic thrust based um a type of game where it's you're so navigating through i i haven't played the c64 version in a long time but i feel that the acceleration is much faster on this one but i I may be mistaken, and my memory is just not as good for. Oh God! Run! Run! Ah! Oh, oh my God, dude! Okay, well, who's next? Come on! Make the yourself the know. fuel's not easy to get yet. So yeah. deadly near the top of the screen, though. You get a fast start. I, I like how here. this almost feels like we're on the moon or something like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's very. Oh come on! What do you? What? What? Really? What 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 do you do? I don't absolutely think. nothing. I guess I could have gone to the left really quick somehow. So there, so with this a level like this, there is a kind of an RNG oh, element, 100%. right? Like you're you're kind of at the mercy of like um, whatever the the. Unless you're in the cave, you're yeah. Dude, I want to. There's no room to land, dude. Move over. I love these guys. They're just like ah, the star came out. Yeah, I, I like that thrust. Now, now, now it's finally. Uh, this is a challenging level. It's like no, there, dude. Level three was challenging for me, <laughs> trying to get through the like the the narrow corridor. Yeah. But there are levels to every game. Okay, that's Think, just the truth. Uh, by a pixel, yes. There was literally dude. one room. Oh, one... see, we got lucky, but uh, how long can we hold it? Pad three. What's nice oh. is that like if you can evade this. You're fine for the yeah. stars. I just need threes and fours now. Threes and fours. Just this pick up on four, please. Or three. This level looks like it was inspired by one of the early Vic-20 games, Jupiter Landing. Seen yes. In, in, um, uh, seen in many um, an ad starring William Shatner. <laughs> Dude, the Shat. The yeah. Shat man. Somehow still kicking it in his 90s and <sighs> looks like he's up. in his 70s. And he's never like looked like a particularly like healthy or unhealthy guy. Oh, God, like, no. Like, he hasn't seemed unhealthy, but you, have, oh. you never look at him and you're like the peak. Of, <laughs> you know, like, peak of perfection. Maybe when he was in his original Star Trek days, he he was he was doing okay there. He was doing for all right. Fitness. Could have just been his youth. But... 
Oh no! Just have one more guy to deliver. Just one more. Just one not like more. this. Okay. No. 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 What are you thinking? If you're just like, on a fucking moon cave, with stars are blasting. Paying fifteen dollars for a, a trip like this. And like not tipping. You're like you're like, bro. I I evaded like multiple <laughs> stars that are plummeting to pick towards. You up for it. Like, do you understand? It's like what's going on in this galaxy that like stars are just plummeting towards this oh God. this place. Oh my God! You're just hanging out in a cave. Like what are we doing? Uh, yeah, game over. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's number ten, right? Number ten. That's right. I almost did it. Almost did it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of early, early, early games were, um, were thrust-based games, like, um, Asteroids, yeah. and Lunar Lander, um, because, come on, somebody appear! <laughs> Rough, um, and, like, right, ba right back where you started, like... Because you can make some pretty impressive games with, um, some math, and just things moving around the screen. Like you couldn't dazzle the people with graphics because you really couldn't do super graphics. So you, you'd have to do other cool things like physics and just simple like avoiding things and shooting things. So true. And, yeah. and also like this 2D thing too, like up. You think yeah. about like the, the limitations of the joystick, right? Of like up you know yeah. left right uh, down, down left, one right. button yeah and even um like asteroids was all buttons actually there's no joystick to begin with <laughs> it's just left rotate right rotate or clockwise counterclockwise fire uh hyperspace and i'm dead need to move Move quick. Ah, I tried. You might have been able to, but it was like... Uh, it was just on the edge. I killed one. my fare, so I mean, need to pick up another fare to replace that This is a rough person. one. It just feels like... Um, it's just so delicate. and it, was, it would be bad even without the stars. Well, not as bad, but... Like, I die in this cave. Not as much now. I'm doing a little bit better in the cave. Oh, yeah. oh dude. Oh, okay. Ah, rough. He doesn't care about my t my taxi. He only cares about himself in the taxi. That's right. Oh god. Oh, oh dude. By a pixel. Oh my god. So lucky. It's so dangerous right up there in the top. Oh, it's brutal. And then what's weird is like now it's like totally fine for like a little bit. Yeah. It's just totally random. You just have the mercy of oh, this. God. And now it's just like this shotgun Oof. of. Of, of stars. stars just pummeling. Okay, nobody shoot any stars immediately at me. Come on, give me a break here. Luckily, he's positioned himself in like a not a decent insane spot. spot. Like that oh. helps. Oh, up. Okay. Up. Oh, Dangerous. Oh, oh, okay. We're out. We're out. S what, dude? I knew it. I knew it. It's like super dangerous. But in what's the tough there. is it generates right there, yeah. right? So it's like you're literally at the mercy of just like will this like shooting star just generate <laughs> and destroy me in half a second with no means of escape. Even here is a little dicey. Oh, oh there's no, no room for my landing. Okay. Okay, the graphics in these early games were impressive because the earliest versions of Lunar Lander were played on the uh, teletype on a, f on, a, on a mainframe and then on HP <laughs> oh, well. programmable calculators all in text. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, for the time, they were impressive. Yeah, exactly. They were super impressive. Every, every, every gen of graphics gets better and better. Oh, he's immune to the star. Can I get that force field, whatever you got cloak around you? Oh God. It's the case oh with anything, God. though, right? Like, you know, when you look... No! Oh, sorry, dude. Oh. I love how he's someone just regen right there. Yeah, because it's the last um, last pad I have to do. All the other pads have been de delivered to or picked up from. Yep, come on and kill me. Come on. Yep. Yay! Oh, dude, okay, oh, okay. I did it. Oh, and it gosh. just... This game just gets harder and harder. It's like... <laughs> Honestly, we're like... Magnets. We're not even halfway there, dude. We're not even halfway there. Okay, hold up. In this level, the gravity that normally pushes the taxi downwards is temporarily reversed. The larger magnets hanging above, in fact, attract 
the taxi and you have to balance their effects using the joystick in particular the landing is done by forcing the oh, taxi to move down right. in case of collision in this level the taxi won't fall as usually happens in inverted gravity it could not fall but it simply explodes <laughs> ah oh my god it's so crazy game over okay this is level 12 11 right this is level 11 yeah He's immortal to falling Mario stars, but thrusters kill him. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, I don't have a fare, so to wait. You know, like everything's pulling me up. I mean, there's still gravity, but it's not as strong as the magnets. But as soon as I got underneath here, it kind of changed quite a bit. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, it's like super strong, or maybe I'm just. Yeah, it's like super strong underneath that. I have to like force myself. Oh down. my god. Thrust oh is, my god. Thrust is like. Finally. Oh, there's magnets on your feet though. Yeah. Which is good. Oh, Thrust is like, it's finally getting difficult. <laughs> it's finally getting difficult. <laughs> finally a challenge. There's these, um, uh, there's oh the, from the, from the Pumping Iron documentary with Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. there's a scene of him, like, like, coaching someone who's working out, and the person's, like, blasting weights, and he's, like, he's, like, 15 in, and he's, like, dying, and Arnold's yeah. just, like, it's finally getting interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting started. Just like, getting I feel started. like, I feel like that's Thrust showing up, being, like, it's finally getting, like, we've, like, yeah. we're, we're, like, dying, and it's, and like. he's, like, oh, now it's hard. Now it's challenging. Like, finally getting interesting. Brutal. This is brutal. I don't think there's any easy levels from here on in. Oh no, it's just, I think it just gets harder. The other one's referred to as a black hole. So I feel <laughs> like any anything that's entitled black hole, I feel like you're please not pad one. Oh god. Of course it's pad one. I like you say that, you're like not like this. Why pad one? Why pad one? You could have been any other pad. <laughs> but you had to be pad one. Oh up. Good. Oh, let's get as long the as I fuck don't out of these magnets, dude. dude. It's nice that at these it, like a, like punishing Ooh. hard levels, there's not like 90 people we need to like pick yeah. up and move. Yes, you know? they have balanced it out a bit. It's not not a ton of places. And since we have the cheat code, like we can actually keep going. But imagine doing this all in one run. Like, Somebody's oh, done it. Uh, Any invisible levels coming up? Invisible? No. Um, invisible mazes. That's what I want. Ooh. Okay. Um, it could seem to be easy reaching pad five in this level, but in case of need, there's even a refueling pad. But don't be fooled. Dude, I'm not fueled. I don't assume any of this is easy. The black hole in the center of the screen will try to catch the taxi. <laughs> My suggestion for you is to use the black hole as a boyu around which to move. You don't have to fly close to the hole, but rather around. Oh and use it um, to be pushed towards your destination by balancing the gravity affecting the taxi's <laughs> movements. Once the exit door is open, instead try to stop the taxi in the central area above the black hole and avoid lateral movements. Oh, okay. So um, he has an interesting diagram here um, with the arrows, oh. sort of almost like a circular, like, like using, the, around. using the energy of it, almost like orbiting around a star. Right. And you want to avoid getting close to it. It sounds like you want to avoid lateral movements because it's going to kind of pull you in. Yeah. Just let it move you. Granted, this is all theory. I yeah. can't help in you practice, with... practice... I can't help you with... pretty different. Imagine just, like, just low-key hanging out by a black hole. <laughs> no problem. It's okay, it's just slowly... Light from my body is being sucked into the center of the screen. And just the confidence of being like, yo, it's okay. We'll just go near a uh, thing that's obliterating the entire uh, solar system and slowly expanding. It will eventually eclipse all of us. <laughs> my, I decided to set up my house. Like, it's kind of <laughs> like, you know how, like, people will build houses by, like, oh. by, like waterfront properties yes, that are, like, like... Oh, it's so beautiful. And yeah, then it, floods like, floods. I feel like this is taking it to a whole new <laughs> level. To be like, yeah, it was so cheap the rent oh. by this black <laughs> hole. <It's> so <laughs> <funny>. You're like, dude... <laughs> Terrible place to pick. Yeah, no wonder he wants a taxi to pick him up. That was a bit too hard of a landing. Yeah, no kidding. He's like, I need to leave. Somehow they have teleporters and they teleport in and out off their platforms, but they still need a taxi. Oh, I did it. That's... I don't know if um 
this is something you'd want to do on the show, but I'd be very curious of seeing like a world record of this, like what a world record <laughs> run looks like. It's something I'll look up later on YouTube. It's still gonna be a long slog, but it'd be interesting to see like this, like the kind of like to see like a very high level player at this, someone who's invested. Oh, let me read what's what is happening. What? Hold up, hold up. Don't worry. Turbocharged taxi. In this level 13, super lucky number, by the way, oh, you yeah. really have a turbo taxi. I can just recommend you to use small and controlled movements of the joystick to avoid the taxi gains, high speeds, and lose control. And of course, keep an eye on the fuel consumption, which in this level is really exaggerated. If necessary, you can refuel oh, the taxi in the proper dedicated pad. <sighs> Yeah, it's a nightmare. Everything is super fast. Turbo thrust, dude. Did I get high score? I did. Chat GPT, finish this game in the minimum amount of time. It's like... Is is that a cat or a dog? Where? 13. So maybe the, I might be like... um. In the... Oh, I think... Are, are you asking about a, a Atari, the beloved oh, cat? Oh, it's a gray cat in the corner. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, dude, welcome to the Yeah, screen. it's hard to tell what that... What that lump of gray is. Yeah, welcome. Yes. Yeah, oh, Fatoko, you've been around forever. Why are you asking if there's a cat or a dog on the screen? Oh, no, he means, sorry, he means oh, in the, on the far right. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I, I answered too quickly. Yeah, he means the on the on the game. Like, is that a cat or a dog on the far right? Oh, that, um, it's unknown. It could also be like a, like a sheep. Could no, be. it's probably a cat or a dog. I would, Most likely a dog. I would vote dog. Yeah. You know what? Even though there are more cats in the U.S. anyway than dogs. Really? Yeah, I was very surprised at that fact. People love their dogs. Looks more like a dog. Yeah. I think oh so. my God, dude! I'll tell you this: out of all the places we've seen, this seems like one of the nicer places to live. Yeah, it is. Like it's the thing that's messed up is my that for some reason we decided to buy like an insano taxi, <laughs> which is not on these customers. Like I think these customers like. I really nope. do think you're dumb if you're living by black holes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I don't know much in this life, but I know that, like... <laughs> black holes are bad news. Yeah, like, investing in property near a black hole is... <laughs> it's a bad Very idea. few people would recommend it's, that kind it's of... It's going to disappear eventually. ...financial investment, you know? Um, yeah. This one is, like, a quaint little situation. We've got a cat slash dog in the corner. Like, look at this. we've got a chimney. You know? Yeah. I think it's a coyote. I'd like that. Do dog. I die if I touch the fuel? No, I don't think so, because you need the fuel, right? Easier. I don't care about the the money. I just need to survive. I think it's a coyote, Chitlila. Coyote. Yeah, it could be. It's outside. Coyote, coyotes are such cool animals. They are. Oh, yeah. You stood. You can hear coyotes once in a while. Oh, really? Around here? Not very often. Other places I've lived, yeah, tons of coyotes. Coyotes are very common in uh, BC. Yeah, and like where where I grew up um, in Alberta, they're they're quite common as well. You see them, yeah. See them scampering about. There's yeah. a few in the like very the, cute. The few in like the 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 lake near where we live. Um, I also saw one at one point in like the middle of the street with like a family, and I was like, Whoa. a family? Oh, I've never seen a baby coyote. A family of like, oh, it was a baby so and then cute. like two two parents, and it was just it was like in the middle of the night, and I looked up, I just saw them in the middle of the street, and I was like, whoa. I've seen baby skunks, I've seen baby raccoons, adorable. Oh my god, baby raccoons, especially baby skunks. Oh my god, just little fluff balls. The trick on this one is if you are not moving left or right, you are golden. Now, I would I would love, because you can answer this better than me, would you say, like, this is an easier or harder one in comparison to oh some of the others God, we've so been doing? Oh, my so much easier. Yeah, because it seems like on an easier, it feels like... but it, it's, it's a different... more hectic, but it's it's much easier. This is not in the right sequence. but it's Compared kind of... to, like, a shooting star that's randomly generated and can obliterate easier. you as you're flying up. This is easier. I feel like... the shooting star one. Yeah... Space mine. Okay, seven pads plus a refueling one in this level. Of course, you won't have enough. You won't what? have to crash what into just the colored gems. Happened? What? I touched nothing. Like I was right there. What is happening? Okay, hold, hold on. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I seven can't fly. pads plus a refueling one in the. Of course, you won't have enough crash into. 
you won't have to crash into the colored gems, but attention, um, uh, that won't be enough. In fact, each gem is connected to the others of the same color with an invisible barrier that the taxi cannot cross without exploding and crashing. You'll have to find the best, shorter, and fastest way to avoid these barriers and reach the destination. Oh, and he actually does a, 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 a diagram of them. Oh, okay. um, and so what's, what you can what is happening with this diagram, now that I'm looking at this, is there's a straight line between um, I don't. I don't want you to cheat because you can. Oh, like, I can see. You it can. Already. You can see, but I it can is. tell. Oh, what am I doing? but there's a straight line between like the green, green, blue, blue. Yes. Or, you know what I mean? It's actually like it's it creates an invisible barrier that like once you see it, it's like it's obvious. Yeah. But this is brutal. I have to go between these right, right. here. I can't go Bug. too long. No, it's a feature. No, it's a feature. It's a deadly, deadly feature. And that's the ceiling right there. Yep. And yeah, once you realize it, I'm, although this does feel like... Ooh, I don't think I sh... If you nope, I'm just barely on. If you played without the manual, you know, this would be Dead. one of those moments where you're like, what, what is that? Especially if you made it this far. Oh, I just... Okay. What level is this? This is level 14. No, uh, yes, 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 14. I think I can get this one. I think pretty so too. Quick. Once you visualize it, it's it's, but it's easy to forget too because it's it it's invisible, right? You have to it's keep like... keep thinking about it the whole time. Oh my god, they start you off in such a deadly spot. Like if you don't pay attention for two seconds, you're dead. <laughs> it's not a bug smile. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely isn't. Okay. Which one are we hitting? I don't know yet. The guy needs to show up. My Come fuel's on. going down. Brother. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Really? There. Oh, that's a troll. That's the trolliest. It's so hard. Guys. To... Oh, oh my god. I want to know in the original C64 game, if your fire hits something, do you die? Because I have died with my top thruster hitting the ceiling so many times. Well, I think it's... So I need to stay one pixel away from the top of anything. It's interesting to think it is a bit harder. Like he was describing how, like, um, with the lower resolution, um, you have this, this, like, you have less degrees. Which I think, I mean, you could say that's oh, harder. Sorry. It probably is harder on some level, but it's also just different. It's like you yeah. have to conceptualize it differently. Which you one do. are we doing? Five. five. All, seven. all things considered, that's not too bad. No, it's not. Only minimal invisibility. Oh, that's right. Oh god, I have to go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, this is the only way. This is not a good one. But it's neat once you once you figure out the trick, it's like you, it's easy to kind of like you can visualize it. You can visualize it. However, what's interesting is some oh, are are almost like unaccounted for. Like you see that weird purple one that's on the like. This is the two yes. purples, but I don't. I wonder what that is. It a diagonal line or is it like a a box where you can't go like. The, Oh, is it like a triangle that you can't it's get? Entirely there? possible. It could be, or it could be, yeah, yeah, or it could just be straight lines, right? And you need to kind yeah. of curve around it. But I, I, I bet think you, I bet ev you. every every dot connects to every dot, so it probably is a triangle. I think, yeah, yeah. That's six. Oh, so far away. Ooh, I'd I go probably up? do over seven. Months. Yeah. Um, I feel like more that's room. that's yeah more room. Don't. Oh, oh. Just hit the edge. It is the edge of the green, not the middle of the green. Oh my oh. god! I'm not. Three's not too bad though. No. Three's easier than one. Oh god! Yeah. By a huge margin. I never got to these levels on the C64 because I don't think there was a cheat. <laughs> oh yeah, that I knew of. And you gotta I have crazy skills. I didn't have a trainer either. mode on. Oh man, to be able hand. to like do this in one run is. That's why. I, that's why I'm definitely awesome. when I get home, I'm gonna Google like speed runs just to see like what kind of money uh, that oh, people yeah. can get. They would make huge. But also just to see the um uh, the, Skill. the skills, you know, you you would never appreciate how hard something is until you do it. Yeah. It's always like humbling, you know. We're probably gonna find a TAS of it. Um, tool assist assisted speedrun. 
um, for sure. But I don't know if somebody can do this in one go. I'm sure somebody oh, can. Oh, somebody's for sure done it. That right? means nobody has finished the game. So yeah, somebody's done. I mean, there's that's the cool thing about like these games, right? Is that some person out there has like some crazy person's dedicated their life to C64 Space Taxi. That's right. Because it's a great game, so I can totally see it. Welcome, Yulia, Julian Zuka, and your Yo, people you brought. brought a Welcome. couple of people. Thanks. Welcome okay. to ZPH, everybody. Must have had We're playing like um, Space Taxi, and we've been grinding it out for a little bit. The world premiere of Space Taxi. Which is um, pretty special, and it's an excellent, excellent port and an official port. And it took our homie 10 years to, to make. Yeah. So it's and it's very cool. We get to be the people to play this for the very first time. So welcome, come on, come on, come. Um, we are doing the high tension cab pickups, yes. and yeah, yeah, this is this is a whole other deal. Although now that we figured out this trick of these like lines between them, Fine. you can kind of it's kind of actually cool because your brain can kind of conceptualize it and sort of see it. Oh, that was cool. Up, please. Yeah. Oh, and the lack of fuel. I think uh, you can make it though. Oh, yeah, I just yeah. go for it, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I... Like it's 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 getting close, but if I didn't die so many times, I <laughs> definitely would have had to get fuel. Absolutely. So update on my toe. It uh, doesn't hurt anymore. It was like um, itchy, but now it's not itchy anymore. Um, so that's good. Ooh, see, this is... Okay, I'm going to read what this level's all about here, right there. In level oh, 15, fast. there is just one pad to reach. But to do it, you have to cross four electrical electrified lines that have moving gaps. I suggest you not to be in a hurry and to go through them one, one at a time, even stopping between the sparks to position your taxi as best as you can. With a little practice, it will be easier to do um, than to explain it. <laughs> to explain it. Yeah. Yeah, so slow and this, steady. This is not that bad, especially, even though I died once, especially if there's only one pad and I just need to get out again. That is going to be a nice little break of a... Yeah, it's in, it's kind of... Well, that is the nice thing about this game is although there's like a lot of levels and if we were doing it like officially going from like one through them all, there's yeah. some that you I can imagine like a speedrunner would be like, okay, they can breathe at this level. This, this is, is the level of, where I'm scared. This is definitely a, a breathing level. Yeah, like if you know the the, the deal. Um, they're all moving to the left, so you kind of have to go to the right a bit and then move with them yeah and, and to, then go to the right and again. To, to avoid being greedy and that was his suggestion which is a really good one it's just yeah. like don't try and like just go one at a time take your time yeah nailed it oh, dude thrust found a video there's a youtube video 35 minutes for all oh, do you want to link it that would be so cool to, to to just have for people to look at yeah um why no, don't they'll have to look at it not watch this now i can put it in another screen yeah. Yeah, or, or watch, or watch it, later. it later. It's just neat to have. Um, okay, one of what is the deal with this? This looks okay. too simple. One of the most beautiful <laughs> and simple. challenging levels. There Strong um, gusts will oh, not gusts. only bend the treetops according to the direction of the wind, but will also dangerously affect the flight of your taxi. In addition, a lot of snowflakes falling from the sky will represent a difficult obstacle in reaching the pads. First time ever. Dropped off and picked up. Didn't have to move. Oh my god. Thank god. That's some good RNG. Yeah. Some lucky, lucky stuff. Landing on pad two will be challenging indeed. Although, fortunately, in the lower areas, sheltered by logs, you'll be protected from the wind and it affects on the taxi. I haven't really felt the wind. Like, after the black hole, it feels like nothing compared to the black hole and the, and the crazy thrust. Like, I really don't feel the wind at all. Maybe it's slight. Yeah, it's it's pushing a little bit. Yeah, um, the passenger RNG would probably make this game annoying to speed run. Yeah, it's <laughs> yes. It's the case with true. any of these games that you speed run, right? Like there is just this randomness to like these world records come down to like skill, this but also like really getting some lucky. Like these uh, these levels uh, are. This is where I die because the stupid. Snowflakes well, this is, are uh, everywhere. This is like the shooting stars all over it again, is. man. Game over. Okay, what level is that? Uh, okay, this was 16, dude. So you're, we're actually crushing it. Nice. Eight to go. Um, yeah, because it's uh, 
24 in total, plus, plus like an a, extra couple, one. a couple other secret little... 16? Uh, yeah, 16 Blizzard. Okay. So looks like a 1cc challenge, though. One what's 1cc? One I don't know. I don't know that terminology. He knows RNG. Oh, come on. You must know 1cc if he... There's the RNG. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Beat the game without continuing. There you One go. One continue. One continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no continue. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for following Coach God's Up. Yeah, we'd have to start by just finishing. <laughs> then, yeah. But you're right, the one, they'd be so, like, random. Like, this, these ones, I think, are the most. Like, I'd say the shooting star and the blizzard is probably Super the random. most punishing. Because yeah. you just at the mercy. Like, here, like, what do you... Did it disappear? Disappeared somehow. Does it disappear Ooh. at the very bottom? Yes, oh, it, does. it does. Okay, so oh, you have this safe. margin. That's you're really that's a, that's that can be utilized to survive this. Ooh, this is. I love the design of this this level in particular. I think he did a beautiful job with these trees. Yeah, they're um, really nice. Really, really nice, and the tops of them swaying is a, a beautiful detail. Low res um, does, did very well with the texture. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get killed by a snowflake. Stop blowing wind. Oh, did it. Did you get it? Fuck yep. yeah, dude. First okay. life? Oh, no, an interference. Interference, okay. This level, which opens the night shift. So, do, so we're now in a, the advanced. Yeah. So every everything that we just did, is, is now it's just getting started. Um, oh, dude, check this out. This is, this is, this is... This is from the source. <laughs> this level, which opens the night shift, in my opinion, is the most difficult one in the whole game. Oh, hooray. Well, that means it's uh, easier from here on out. Flying at radars level with disrupt the taxi's movements. And while in the upper pads, this could simply be a bother, going through the gap um, that gives access to the lower caves pads will be downright tricky. Sometimes it could be convenient to block the horizontal movements by opening the landing gears, oh. temporary landing on pad five before oh. attempting to descend to the cave um, where the radars have no effect. I don't see how that... I don't see how landing on pad five would really help because you still have to take off and then move over and not i guess i Just guess try it out I and guess. see it's from the yeah i guess because it won't push you left how right. many total levels does this thing have it 24 it's 20, 20. 24 but then it seems to be there's a there's a mystery level too. so technically yes. 25 technically. i believe bonus level. and there's a congratulations screen which yeah i'm not going to show james what that looks like he's oh, got to earn it i gotta earn that gotta earn the congratulations it is adding thrusts to your move, random thrusts. Is it? To your is movement. that what's happening in this level? Yep. I just called interference. Yep. It's just random movement. Sixteen. Um. Uh. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Oh, you have to use the fact uh, that when gears are open, the taxi cannot move left or right. True. Yeah. I'll try it again. He's he's right. Yeah. Because um, but when when you arrive. Oh. But I have to get it there. Yeah. So now at least you can like slow down. And then and yeah, and then once you get to a safe position, um, then you can lock those gears in again. Yeah, yeah. And then Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm safe down here from the interference. Yeah, that's what the, he said. Oh, okay. that you, we are safe. Now fucking good luck in that fuel. Okay, just like... do two seven six. Just keep doing that. No, not pad five. Well, at least it's not far, I guess. Oh, yeah, better than nothing. But, but oh, you see here, God. you almost yeah that landing gear is like with the, it's going to start interfering with the interference. Oh, oh not back like, to nothing. Not like this. Back to nothing. No not passenger. Like this. Oh, getting late for me. Good night. Oh man, thanks so much for hanging out, Thrust. Uh, yeah. Good, good to have you playing. Good uh, night. Watching rather. Have a good night. Ah, uh, I die again. This is. You know how like in hot um in hot ones they have like the yeah. the, the worst um hot sauce not at the very end. Yes. This is what he's done. He's done the same yes. thing. Was it the bomb? That's apparently the, the worst one. It's this is bad. The, this is the de bomb of the yep. of, of the game. Torturous. You know? Not only is it just random thrusting, there's also a super small passageway. Not the smallest, but just adding that oh this is this is the time to use that trick landing gear dude okay i gotta get centered first no nope. stop it ah 
Oh, that's a rough landing. I don't know if I made any money there. Hey, taxi. It's like you don't understand what I've been through. Uh, you don't understand what I've been through to get it's you. Traumatizing. Oh god. Yeah, doing the that technique is really good on all the top platforms. He's 100% right. I'm so happy we actually without these like notes, I think this would be an exceptionally challenging game. Yeah, I don't know if I would have figured that out. Maybe eventually, it's really but it would take to... a while. Which one are we doing for? Okay, it's not too bad. It's nope. not too bad. Oh, no. Oh, ah! Uh... It just threw a curveball at the last second. Yeah, once there you get go. like that. This will definitely be a fun playthrough once it releases. Yeah, oh my god. Oh man. yeah, this will this keep is, you busy. Well, this is just like, the thing about this game is we're just barely getting through it. Like, imagining adding the layer of like, now trying to beat scores, now trying to get it through all at once. Like, it feels like it's got such repeatability. And also, the more you play it, the better I assume you'd get. Yes. Um, just, this is a very skill-based game. Like, I feel I'm... a better at um using like navigating with with the taxi um too oh, good and you and you're not affected by those radars in here too so obviously if it's kind you of were, you'd be dead it's kind of fucked it'd be situation impossible. but okay. see come on now you might want to consider getting that fuel Ooh, in I, I have to actually yeah. you really might want to consider that i mean maybe we're flying too close to the sun but at the same time no, i gotta do it Fuel! Yeah, dude, we got you. We Look, got you. My money is going down because I have to buy the fuel. Oh, dude. Space, ta Boy, space taxiing is punishing, dude. Yeah, I just used up all half my money <laughs> getting fuel. <laughs> there, I, I think also that is actually somewhat reflective of taxi drivers in real life. Like, yeah. like it's so hard to up, like make up. A, a crazy amount of money riding a taxi. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, it is. It's a hard go. I wonder if you could run upstairs and get the delivery. Yeah, sure, dude. It's just been sitting for... just outside the front. Yeah, I'll do it. yeah. If you could just bring it inside, put it on the table. Yes, I did it. Taxi maze. No particular difficulties. What is what I read? This one is just looks like. Make it through the maze. There's only one platform. And, uh... It is very tight, but... Ooh, I... No, I'm gonna go for the vertical. It's gonna be a lot easier. There we go. Locked in. And then I'm guessing it just goes up, please. Yeah, this is like a relief from the last level. It's like, we're gonna give you a break. Pay attention to the fuel here. Oh, not, that uh, must be an old one. It must be an old message, because there's no. Oh, God. Okay. Do a couple packages, actually. Oh, nice. I had a newfound respect for the Amazon deliverer as well. Yeah? From playing Space Taxi all day. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this, what kind of trials and tribulations they went through to get, to drop off your Amazon packages, you know? Oh, so Taxi Maze? I mean, self-explanatory. Yeah, they tricked me, though. As soon as I picked up the passenger on platform one, it's like blocked my passage. Oh. And you have to go the long way around. Of course they did. Level 18, who's no particular difficulties and a bit of patience and control of the taxi movements, should be enough to reach the level's only pad and to head toward the exit following the mandatory path. Special attention can be paid to fuel consumption, which does not leave too much room for unnecessary time wasting. I mean, of course. Yeah. Last taxi. I actually did really well on my first try. Now I'm running into walls. For some reason. Yeah, it's just, does this game have a live counter? Curious. I, I have net, I'm yet to figure out where that's indicated. The um, lives? Yeah. Oh, it's in the left. On the left, where? I have zero left, so that's why. Oh, okay, cool. You can't really tell we'll right now. We'll note it on the next one. Yeah, I think it starts with five. And lives are counted properly because they're in reserve. Okay. Stop. Looks like a track out of the super sprint. Yeah, it does with the diagonal. Watch, watch this trickery. Watch oh, this manipulation of my. Also, dude, why can't you just like walk to like? Yeah, exactly. Oh, so it produces a completely different... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, because why would you ever not... 
not just do the <laughs> yes go back the same way or just pop over okay what level 18? this is 18 yeah okay we already had the bomb so yep <laughs> this, this one's this one's harder than it seems though there's a lot of I, I love that every different. level presents a new puzzle and challenge and yeah. a new layer and totally obstacle totally different and I feel it, it's so not repetitive in, at it's all it's so inventive in the way that it takes this kind of core mechanic and just like has all these variations oh, of dodging things landing things interference yep. such a creative game that's why it's um, endured like it's it's reputation all these years I feel like like people um, remember this game yeah, and like, um, and it's also nice as well that you could kind of just like practice for a while on the early levels and slowly yes. build. Yes, it, it is a slow burn. Oh, so is it the A's? Um, the, are those the lives? Yeah, they're little ta taxi. Oh, cars. I see taxi. I don't know. My brain's like. You remember that this is part of the night shift that's harder. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're in the last levels here. Night shift is always the hardest. Yep, it's dark out. Sketchy people you're picking up, drunk people. What do you do? You gotta make that money. You gotta, gotta make that five dollars. Yeah, I gotta get the. That's like depleting. God, you'd think these guys would give better tips. Yeah. Just the precision that's required. Yeah. But once you're moving in a direction, there's no. Um, there's no friction. There's yeah, no air yeah. friction. So that's kind of good on these long passageways because then you only have to pay attention to up and down. Or when you're going up and down, once you're centered, yeah, because, you're fine. Um, uh, yeah, and it, the diagonals seem to be the hardest. Yeah, because you're playing with all four directions, maintaining. Now, now, obviously, there's no such thing as easy. None of it's like... None of this is You know, easy. it's there's no there's no free lunch in Space Taxi. Oh no! Oh my god. One pixel away from death. Yeah, and don't worry, you're Oh but fuck your fuel, man. No, no, no. You're fine. you're fine, but I just mean like I I, I noted is, that as in like wow, like it's that's... This is a fuel watch the fuel. That's why I'm doing like just what's necessary. <sighs> okay, sick oh. dude. Okay, nineteen, nineteen. The switch. Oh, no more switches. It feels like having a deja vu. You're not wrong. No! no. <laughs> no this why? level looks identical to the third one, the skyscraper. What's the happening? Is, oh, no, it's backwards. The differences are not limited to the really annoying acid colors. The joystick controls also change. Oh, God. To go upwards, for example, you have to pull the stick downwards because pulling it upwards would cause the taxi to move to the right instead. In a few words, pay attention to the Sorry? taxi's response. To learn and practice how what to is use the joystick. No, what's happening? Um, hold on. So he says, <laughs> "What's up? What's down?" To go up, for example, you have oh to pull God. the stick down because okay. pulling it up makes it makes it move to the right. So I'd say just right now, just just practice okay. the directions. What's right? Um, it doesn't tell us. You'll have to figure it out. Um, okay. it, <gasps> ah no! <laughs> oh my God! It's not mirror. It's it's, it's foobar. It's literally, what it is. It, but I think it's consistent. So it's, oh, it's consistent. So it's we just got to figure this out. It's the mirror universe. I wish. Yeah, I wish it was mirror. Then I could easily do it. And I don't think you can just yeah. rotate your joystick either. No, because I it, let's let's go. Let's just slowly okay, figure I'm it out. I'm going to rotate it so something matches. At least two things match. Or maybe they did that so you can't. Okay. Let's find out. So so up. What does up do? Let's see. Up goes right. Oh, sorry. Okay, I need to figure out. No, no, no! Down is up. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, That's... so at the very least, we've got one. Okay. No, this is. Maybe if I do a 45 be... degree angle? It's gonna be one that. Just gonna have to memorize it. Yeah, this yeah. is not good. If only you had a programmable joystick, yeah. But also, I don't. I kind of also feel like that is cheesing the game. Like this is this mm. is a mechanic that's introduced as a challenge for this level. So the beauty is trying to overcome it. Um, I I would put that in the in the category of cheating because it's like the the point of this level. If you're gonna like if you're gonna program it, you may as well just skip the level. You know. Okay, it's 
hard. I, I just have to play around. Okay. Yep. There we go. And then good luck playing the next levels once you've mastered this, right? <laughs> exactly. I can re you reprogram my relearn. brain again. Okay. Switch the assignable buttons for up thrust to at least have one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So down. It's thrust. Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. Then I can do this. Yeah, I think having at least one is is legit. Oh God, no, no, no! Let's do this one. We're getting close. <laughs> is this to simulate that if you work all day, you take shrooms on the home stretch? Man, who doesn't when they're driving a taxi, right? That's right. It's a requirement, isn't it? Level nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Definitely um, frowned upon in the when you <laughs> get picked up by a, by a, someone who is. I don't want those shrooms kicking in too soon. Yeah, well you're, well, you're trying to navigate space. But also, how else are you going to get through the night shift, you know? <laughs> Without your beloved uh, microdosing. Or probably macrodosing, actually, if you're unable to learn the directions. Yeah, actually, this is such a sick suggestion. But like, this is a terrible, terrible level. <laughs> it's so brutal. Uh, well, where I love do you want to go? Number God. two. I would have said to add Joy 2B support for the thrust button, but I can't imagine it's that necessary for this game any more than it was for the C64 version. The next level, the munchies. <laughs> That's <laughs> the right, munchies. Dude. I just gotta take this super, super yeah, yeah, There's no rush. There's no rush. And, and, and if you at all feel like you can land, just fucking go for it. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? Like, there's no... I love how, like, at this point, we're, like, fighting for, like, a dollar and a half. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll take 50 cents. Just to survive. It does strike me that, like, um, another factor, I imagine, for those, like, speedrunner high score types would be to know the levels that you can make a lot of money and then to know the levels that you need to just get through. Because it strikes me that some levels, the potential for, like, making bank is high and other ones you really just, you don't want to actually spend that much time in. You want to just, like... Yeah. For this, I'm not doing i'm just using gravity and the two directions and the the thrust because yeah. that's really helping High me five. then i only have to memorize two like the left and right thank god he doesn't have like shooting stars shooting oh and god stuff. you yeah. know you could totally it's the like last those levels gonna be like everything all at once yeah it's like those everything. crazy you ever seen those like crazy mario brothers levels that people like mod <laughs> yes just like nuts like you could just like like insult to injury this whole thing just everything moving things locked doors stars flying right. everywhere it's like no when it was why. too easy it's <laughs> like oh. yeah like um a space taxi uh uh, build your own level. That would be quite something. It's like, do you want gravity in this level? Do you want moving things? How many pads? Place the pads. Please up. Oh, God. Oh, he God. says that um, you can land the taxi moving left or right. Which oh, is good to really? Know. It doesn't have to be. I think, I think it's like... It's a rough landing, though. It's probably. a rough landing, and it's more likely that you might accidentally kill someone. Yeah. Come oh, on. Center. God, why aren't you now you're centered in the wrong spot can we do it is that good yes 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 you're good oh nightmare is over the okay now you can actually just play the game the long oh yeah we'll see <laughs> fast break the 20th is one of the most beautiful Ooh, levels colorful. um to look at and to be able to reproduce the multicolored vertical bars of the original version an expensive use of dli vbi and pm has been made in terms of difficulty, the playing field um, has some pads at the top, others at the bottom, and there are a couple of rules to follow to move between the two zones. The side gates allow you to go downwards, while the central ones allow you to reach the upper zone, but only if you pass through the gate at full speed. You got it what? right. 
you'll have to launch yourself through the gaps very fast and without and, and without worrying about what will happen because the taxi will stop um, just beyond the gate and you will uh, resume moving normally. If you try to pass at a lower speed through the middle gate, the taxi will be bounced back down. In case of running out of fuel, you'll be able to refuel. What are the gates? Are those two things on the right and left? These or are good, the color? These things? are good questions. Let me let me read again. Yeah, um, I'll just, just I'll like read it and then I'll tell you. Yeah. Because you have to hit. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't get up there. Oh. What is happening? Yes. Oh. That's what I mean. You have to move. You move quickly, but then you get then like it, boom. You stop. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. I can do that. As long as you just ram it. And not hit the side. It's okay. You might want to. We might want to just. We might need more taxis. <laughs> <laughs> more. We need more taxis over here. A couple more taxis. Oh, and it stops you dead. Yeah. Left, right, up, down, just dead. And then, yeah. I, then you got to you got to learn how to recover. So it seems like once you get there, it's like. Figure it. I can't remember what figure it is in Jumpman. Jumpman, another one of my favorite. Uh, C64 Yeah, games. so 20 is this, uh... Okay, we're almost there. Now you know why I dedicated this whole show to this game. 100%, yeah, there's no way you can... <laughs> add other games into it? No. Just not What time are we at? We're at, like, 4.15, yeah, so we're, yeah, like... We're almost there. A juicy, juicy show for juicy everyone. Juicy show. Oh, yeah, I gotta slam. Oh, Yeah, right, because he pushes you back down. Boom. But it's so disorienting that. Ooh, and that's some pixel perfect. Oh yeah. Oh come oh, on. The fuel. So how do you get back? You just go down. Right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because you can't get speed. Oh, it's so tiny. I know, kittens. It's your feeding time. You just have to wait till the taxi's done his shift. Yeah, we got. We're 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 halfway through the night shift, boys. Yep. We're halfway through the night shift. Five more levels plus one. Okay. Where's your brother? Oh, Atari. James is in the middle of trying to save oh, people. I'm trying to get them to their destination. He's it's taxi important driving. work. Trying to lick my hand. Sacrificed no, uh, my life so many times for these people who work in awkward. I don't know where they're living, but they're living in some crazy world. <laughs> Oh yeah, he he likes to likes to give kisses, <laughs> wet wet kisses. It's so tough because like I get a bit of cat hair on my nose and then I want to rub it, hair. but now it's like covered in the cat hair. So I'm like, hold up, let me just I'm gonna quickly go. Oh my shit. Nose. <laughs> Occupational hazard, buddy. Yeah. <gasps> it's hard. We need that paper. <laughs> He's like, nope, my We're job is to sit levels. sit on the paper. That's what cat's jobs are to do. Get in boxes and sit on paper. Oh yeah, it is a rougher landing when you're moving a little bit, but since I don't care about the fares, just making it through the game, I'm not too concerned as long as I don't crash my taxi. I must have thrust it off. There we go. Working hard to put cat treats on the table. Level five. Oh, don't wreck oh, the paper. Much better, much, much better. Oh, good. Clearing the nasal passage. Good. Oh, buddy. Getting there, getting there. I've done a couple fares. Okay, good. I don't know how many... Oh, my God, which way should I go? Oh, I'm going to go left. I'm going to get fuel, actually. So I might as well go right. I'm not sure if I land on that fuel. It's bad or not. There goes my money, all my money. All, all the money, money is money. gone. It was a little bit faster than the tip goes down, which is very colorful level. Looks so good. <laughs> cat hair. It's everywhere, dude. Uh, it's cat hair shedding season. It is all good, though. I'm, I'm not allergic. It's oh, just, you're just having hair stuffed in your nose. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it just is. Just ticklish. Right? You just got to get rid of it. Hop, hop, hop. Add four. Okay. I bet after this guy, it's up, please. Please got the same trick too yeah well that'd be easier imagine trying to figure this out without a manual up. dude like, please don't be on the top oh, of course well it's not too bad because then i'm already up there i guess 
I guarantee you it's gonna be three out of two. That's what it's gonna be. No, I think it, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Would it be up? Come on, come on. I think I'm done. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, you're crushing this game, dude. Ooh, my prior experience Rebound. when I was 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> The skills have been accrued That's from years, right. iron shaping iron, studying the blade, forging the taxi <laughs> of the space. Okay, the play field oh, of this no, level there's things moving around. is continuously crossed by fast moving balls, oh I... which as you will soon re realize, won't destroy your taxi if they collide with it, but attention, oh, okay. they're not as harmless as you might seem. Once a taxi is hit, it will bounce in the opposite direction okay. with equal speed. This is quite dangerous because of the equal sloping that you're balls. Going? Or um, equal to the ball? I think equal to the ball, but we'll find out. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting hit by some... We'll definitely be hit at some we'll point. We'll find out what happens. I mo I'm oh, slightly moving to the right and went off. Pads don't facilitate movements. The suggestion is, if possible, to avoid collisions with the balls and to proceed at quite a slow speed in order to be ready to correct your movements in case of a collision. So it, why am I moving so radically? Um, so I'm guessing, yeah, if you move faster, it'll push you the opposite direction faster. That's some, that's some Darwin, sorry, some uh, Newtonian physics right there. Yep. Okay. Uh, what level? 22? Uh, 21. 21. That is to avoid the balls also if they don't kill. I will avoid the balls. Rule to live by. Yeah. Rule. Diagonal paths are not easy. No, they are not. Because your taxi does not turn. Like... Oh, number three seems like a rough one. Honestly, though, I don't know if... Oh, God. I don't know. Okay, that wasn't the worst. No, I was not moving super fast. That seems to be the key to this ride is actually like... And I'm guessing because you're not moving on the platform. Had four. Honestly, all things considered, that's, that's probably a best case scenario. It won't push you if you're on a platform. <sighs> Thread the needle. Have you ever had a uh, bad experience with a uh, taxi or equivalent Uber? Um, uh, I've definitely been in taxis where like there's no incentive to get to where you're going quickly you know and they, and you're like you're looking at the route you're taking and you're like every back road <laughs> and and then you're just kind of like and you know that it's the opposite direction but you're kind of like you're so in it that like what do you right. do you're like uh, you're gonna you're gonna tell them like you're going the wrong way you're taking the long way around yeah but i um i discovered that like um the thing i appreciate about uber is that it's like the affair is is like agreed upon at the beginning, which feels yes. like a better model, because there's actually, better. and then there's an incentive for the driver to get you there quickly. But not too quickly. But there was one day that I like was picked up by what I would regard as like the Ryan Gosling of like Uber <laughs> drivers, you know, like drive style. <laughs> like he showed up and like I was standing outside like my apartment, and he opens the window and screams like "Get it!" and it can hear like EDM like <laughs> ns, 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 oh like God. style drive music. Get in, we gotta I, like, move. I like opened the door i like get one foot in the car is already taking oh, off like there's gravity. yeah <laughs> and i like climb in and shut the door and he like and I, I i can't think i've been in a faster uber where he just like he was zooming through the spaces i think borderline like to a point that i was like am i gonna die in this uber <laughs> is this and my death within like a fucking like four minutes we are at the destination which should have taken 10 minutes he's like he's already accepted a new drive oh, and he's God. like he's like get out and i like get open out. the thing i like I, I i close the door and as i'm closing it he's driving away to like shots and he's off and i was like that dude wow. I'm like who knows how many fares this guy's getting through in one day but you wow. could it was the opposite end right was like because he knew no Knows the way for him to make money is to fucking Just blast go. through these. So I, I and he was like, and I never forget that it was like the music was like this, like EDM trance hype, like mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts, mm -ts. Yeah, it almost felt like you know how like some of those like Twitch stream gamers will just have this like trance music play as they're like right. hitting a vape and just like really felt like that was what this guy's vibe was. And and the, and the, the and he and it was a Mustang, which makes a lot of sense. Oh wow. <laughs> That's an unusual car for, uh... Oh, the ball hit me! 
for that kind of profession. Yeah, it's normally you have electric low, vehicles. Yeah, and, it's a, not a low gas. Uh, and I and I had this thought when I car. exited the car was like, I just might have met the greatest worst Uber driver of all time. You know, like I was like, this oh, is yeah. the this is like the Michael Jordan of Ubering, but at the same time, like you might die. It's the space taxi of Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a risk you take. You'll get to your destination quick, but boy, you know, he's gonna make my and and I always thought that was an interesting like kind of parallel too right like the the taxi who's it's like we're not going in oh we'll just take our time yeah we're just meandering these back roads you know they're like asking about your day you're like i kind of need to like get here you're just <laughs> watching the fair just <laughs> yeah I, I, oh, I did have a taxi driver too at one point ask if he could go get like a coffee and then I like sat in the car and then I realized he'd left the meter going as he was going to get his coffee. That's just blatant. And I asked him about it and he's like, oh, don't worry about it. And then we kept going. I was like, wait, like, don't worry about it. What do you mean don't worry about it? And then we got it. to the thing and it was like charging me. I'm like, what about the coffee thing? And he was like, oh, don't that's fine. It. It's just fine. <laughs> like what for you and because i'm canadian i was like i just paid it and left. i didn't want to argue wow that is just blatant okay shift rama oh the easier question is have you ever had a good experience in a taxi okay that's true um i need to oh my god slow moving uh, obstacles okay getting through the moving colored blocks to reach the seventh pad in this level will not be easy at all <laughs> okay to decrease the difficulty of this level i have intentionally reduced the size of the larger blocks but there I um but there isn't so much you can do about it only with a bit of practice you will be able to move in sync um in, in synchrony with the the blocks mm. waiting for the right moments to go up and down so oops so this is also one where like please five and seven next no there's no fuel Listen to this is going the opposite direction okay that's Which actually the... oh, too much it's not too bad oh, better wait up here nope he's down there of course just have to be patient not so quick and you have to learn how to hover. Yeah, I go for the big spot, not that tiny this one. This is oh, like down. um, this is like a slow speed frogger, you know? <laughs> yes, it's super. No, super slow frogger. Where it's dangerous because they're slow. This is twenty two. Uh, yes, twenty two. Almost there, boys and girls. So close. Uh, my bad experience was nothing to do with the taxi driver. Well, yeah, what was going on with you? Uh, when I was filming in New York City, um, I, had to, I had to take all my gear with me everywhere I went. Oh. Take taxis, because there's no way... It's, it's really stupid to rent a car in New York City. Yeah, you don't want to be driving there. It's so expensive to park, and if you can even find parking. Um, so I had to take taxis to each of the, the locations to shoot. Um, so I had all my gear with me going to the next location. Um, and I put my tripod in the trunk. You can see where this is going. Um, and I get out to the car, go up to the location with all my gear, and then I go, oh, where's my tripod? And it was in the back of the trunk of the cab. And gone forever. And I did somehow get a receipt. I don't know. I usually don't because, well, Whoa. no, I got a receipt because I was, you know, I have to pay. Oh, that's right. For the expenses. Business and the expenses and, like, yeah. and stuff. Um, so I had the taxi number on it. Um, so I phoned that in. But for some, I can't remember why, but for some reason... The, I just could not get the purse, the right person on the phone. They couldn't figure out which taxi I took. They couldn't reach the person. And so I, I think I bought a cheap garbage tripod in the meantime. I really can't remember, but I'm quite sure because I don't have another good tripod. Because um, my tripod's like, a Manfrotto tripod, like a really nice yeah, one. Yeah, solid, like yeah, super solid. A consistent great head brand on it. that, like, yeah. Um, oh my god, I'm out of control. <laughs> um, and, and then eventually, 
at my own expense, of course. I had to get it shipped back to me from New York, from the US. And it costs like $150 because it's not light and it's huge. And it's not like they're like, you know, yeah. they're pretty light, but, but I'm, I'm not going to give up on it. They're, they're quite expensive. Like they're much more than the price. And mine was very, very, um, good condition. So, so that was a nightmare. And I had to deal with that throughout filming. And it was like halfway through filming, like two weeks You just weeks lose one of York. your core tools, man. <sighs> yeah. It's an essential, like everything is essential, but that was like super essential. But luckily, I didn't have, like, it was, um, it was a documentary, so I didn't have to do, like, any kind of pans or anything. So I got away with using a kind of garbage tripod that, once I had it positioned, it was fine. And a lot of the interviews were sitting down, so... Oh, God, I just have to wait that up. Patience, patience. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're sitting down, so I didn't need the height of the tripod. So a garbage one, which magically, they're all under six foot for the garbage ones. It's conspiracy? I think so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, you cannot get anything over, like, 5.5 five with a tripod. They force you to buy a super nice one if you want to film anyone that's above a height of 5.5. Five. That's they know, man. That's, they like, know. part of the tactics. Yeah. So that was a nightmare. Oh, bad sex. Yeah, and the fuel situation is... is dire. Yeah, it's pretty dire. I think we can make it. If everything goes fairly smoothly, I'm a believer. it is straight down. So if I can just keep it kind of, no, I can't. Not with that little gap. But I can, I can kind of manipulate it so I can stay. Oh no! Too crazy! Oh, oh. oh so close. But I still have lives, and it's probably the last person. Please be somebody. Here. I hope so. I think it just like I think this one's just programmed to send you through it, right? Like it, I don't think that it would be like. Who's up? No. I know there's one. I think at the next guy after this is an up, up, please. Just have that feeling, but let's hope. No. Oh. Taking it too quick. <sighs> Don't need to. I know kittens. I know. Okay, up, top. Nope. This is mm, bad luck. Because I knew there's pad six left and there's pad three left. So after I drop this guy off, should be pad three and then up, which is not too bad. Hopefully he wants a lower one, but I'm. I'm fairly try. certain that they it's been programmed to always make you go through. Like we'll see, but I'm yet to yeah. see one. I mean it might and that would be that would be awesome. Pad three. Yeah. So hopefully it's not a bottom guy that needs to go up to the top after this. You know what's t funny about games too is that it's, it is like it's a logarithmic thing. It's like not only are you getting tired from playing, the game the levels are getting harder and harder, you know? It's like just the way that it works. I would say they are getting harder. This one's relatively easy, easy to a yeah. lot of them. Okay, please up top, please up top, please up top. Thank you. Thank you. Like he was right when that level when he said that level, whatever, I can't remember which one it was, was the hardest one. Yeah, which one was it? Was it was 100% true. Oh, it was the shooting star? The interference. Interference, yes. We had to I go into the, the cave. Yeah, I think interference. Um, Brutal. Yeah, interference is probably... I also feel like um, uh, the switch was pretty rough. Too. Oh, that was just puzzle solving. And it was just... I can't open the gate. Can't open that one. Doesn't open. Oh no! I mean the switches in the one that was like your um, uh, all your thrusters were like oh doing my God. different things. Yes. Okay. Oh, dude. So this is level twenty-three lasers. It's not too bad. I watched sea oh beams my God, glitter in the dark near. Uh, uh, now I, I I don't know this word Tanner House. Tanner House oh, Gate. Tanner House Gate. Tanner Houser. It's from Blade Runner. Ah, oh, sick. Um, well, you absolutely must avoid these rays. And I would say that the best way to do it is not to be in a hurry, but to move to cross move to cross one ray at a time Ooh. just immediately after it's disappeared. As often happens, patience uh, is a strong virtue. Not immediately after because they're random. Like one can come out immediately after one goes away. Like I don't think that's that, that advice is going to work. Like 
patience is but, the... But that is the best time... To, it is the best time to do it is immediately after, but it doesn't guarantee that you're going to make it through. Yeah. Oh, game over. 23? Uh, yes, 23. Oops. There we go. Two more! 23, 24, and Correct. then the bonus... 23. 23? That's right. Now I need to go watch Blade Runner again. Yeah, so good. Obviously, you have not seen Blade Runner. I've seen Blade Runner. Like, oh, you just don't really have to, I just don't remember. I can't remember, like, okay. the names of all the things, like... Right, yeah. I, mean, I remember Tears and Rain. Like, oh, God. I remember eyes ever. being crushed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember... Uh, yeah. I, like, I, remember, I remember the plot and everything, but I don't yeah. remember, like, the specifics. specifics. I remember there being also the, the, the like, logo of um, Atari in it as well. Yep, it's very true. They... Well, you know, it... Atari is back in a form. Ah! And I love that, that kind of form. Um, the so depiction of it. the future is a hybrid of sort of Asia and, and the West. Yes. Um, a couple, a couple. I think, um, uh, I think like the Firefly and Serenity sort of does that as well. Yeah. When people speak. I think that's actually quite accurate. And there's like the the movie Looper where he's like, oh, yeah. he's like, I want to go to France, and he's like, trust me, go to China. And he's like, I'd like to go to France. He's like, I'm literally from the future. Go to China. And you think about the way the world's going. Like, yeah, uh, it's like you know, right it's, now you'd be like France. Yeah. But um, who knows where we'll be in 50 years? I mean, there's no doubt that there. That, oh, that, sure. that Asian countries are the superpowers of the world, and you know, if not. Gun. Damn it, and it places me at the top! No! Oh, yeah. It's a punishing one, dude. It's because it's random again. It's a random... Like that. I don't know if it's going to come a second after, or it's going to come five seconds after. And you have to just go for it, because, like... Yeah. Otherwise, you're just standing there. Yeah. I... How does somebody speedrun this? That's why... Oh, I'm... you know what? You gotta be at the bottom. Yeah, they have directions. There we go, there we go. That's the key. That's the key. If I don't crash. That's the key. I was just not thinking about it. There's always a way. In the 80s, uh, they thought Japan was going to take over everything, but by the time it was uh, a good Blade guess. Runner, it was China is going to take over everything. Yeah, it would be a very good guess in the 80s that Japan was taking over, because they were taking over cars and tech... <laughs> and, and computers, cell phones, watch... Like, anything electronic. They were just 23. dominant. I, I, you got this, dude. I feel it. This time, yeah. I, I'm going to give it a good shot this time. Now that I know a little a tactic of... Yeah, uh, he just illustrated <gasps> no. this. This gave us the same suggestion. You have to pass to the right side of the ray, not close to its origins. Yeah. It's totally true. I pressed the wrong button. Or went to the wrong level. I know. I know. I know. I know. Soon. Soon. I gotta finish these levels. Then you get your... Looks easy at first. <laughs> it's like, oh, you just fly through it. No. There's only three platforms, so... So, it, you can theoretically not be too bad on fuel. Yeah, if this is one that I think like really um, benefits you uh, to not die. Yes. Because dying it's really, brutal. really sends you back quite yeah. a ways. And it seems to me every time we've done this, it's been number can, one. Can. It could be wrong. But... No, no. Atari. He's nudging me. He's he like, knows. He's can just... you give him some treats? Where are the treats at? Where are my treats at? Yeah, just to fill his stomach a little bit, because he's like, he's like really giving me strong hints of, hey, you know it's food time, by the way. You have, you're, you've forgotten to feed me. Are you going to make it a secret? Oh, oh, it's game on. It's game on. Here's the other contender. You know how the game goes. Let's, Get those bells let's down. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. Let me, I'm gonna fucking um, pilot tree time today. Yeah, you're in charge. You gotta count. You gotta count it okay, up. Okay, oh, the sprites one. there. Okay, one. One, one. Oh, 
of the way through. <gasps> Damn it! Oh! That's two. There's two, two. I'd switch over the camera, but... Uh, I Three, two. Camera, no. Come on. Shoot your laser. There we do. Four, two. Buddy, okay. Four, two. Five, two. Oh, he's just a... He inhales them. That's that's his... Six, oh, my two. God! What is going on, Sprite? No! Uh, <laughs> three, six. Seven, three. Okay. Destruction. Utter destruction. Eight, three. Oh... Nine three. Buddy. Oh, I usually throw it uh, because okay. he's so gonna, good at inhaling. I'm gonna go ten and then four. There we go. There we go. That's that's what happened. The door was open. The door was open, and I'm giving him directly to his mouth. He's 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 a vacuum. He's just a cat vacuum. Oh my god, it was too hot. Love. Yep, dinging bells. Yeah, the treats are stinky. You know, awesome. Wash your hands if you care about that. Greasy and stinky. Yeah, the problem with flying not in the middle is that, and flying low, is that you're close to the top or bottom. This one is especially hard because you kind of got a motor through it. Oh, finally. The good thing is about picking somebody up on platform one is that you probably don't have to go back there. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Yeah. What will be ideal is just two, one, two, one, two. Or two I mean, uh, one, three, one, three, one, three. One, three, two, up. Thanks. All right, thanks. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't have any lives left. That's the second part. Come on, do your thing. Fuel. Brutal. This game. Carolyn fixed the game so Sprite would win. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you gotta give him. Oh, I, it's my first time doing it. I, uh, I'm understanding oh, this. No patience. God. He's still, at, he's still at two. He's still at two. Yeah, that's not the worst case scenario. No, he could be at one. <laughs> Come on, just be up. That would be so sick. Uh, it might be. It might be. That would be so. I don't so think so nice. though. God. <sighs> well, it is the second to last level, man. Yes, it should be. This hard. is the semifinals. Was oh, that an ice cream truck? No. Ice cream truck has really annoying music. That's somewhat soothing. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> <laughs> but I, I last game was better. It was better. So yeah. as long as there's improvement. Also, dude, two. I'll take two. Yeah. I'll, oh my God. Take, Why? Take two over one. Oh. Any day. Pro tip, avoid lasers. <laughs> avoid lasers for high dude. score. It's the final Super countdown. Pro tip. The Diddly final do. Diddly do, do. Oh my god, I went too fast. Oh. oh, the urge to do a rage reset is high. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got, uh, we released a t-shirt um, the uh, last show. It's all like uh, colorful uh, code. Yeah. Um, it's not code code, but it's co in encoded. Let's say. Um, some people liked it. Some people bought it. That's cool. Oh my god. Um, but I have a t another T-shirt ready, but I'm not going to release that till the next episode. Um, oh god. On the second. Oh sweet. This, um, it's a uh, couch compliance uh, t-shirt. Oh, that's so, so nice. And it, and it looks pretty good. Come on. Do you... 
I love how like when you're waiting, it gives you like all the time in the world. Yes. The second you move, it's, it's like, like double shot. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Double shot of lasers as soon as you try and get through. Yeah. Probably just like getting, that. You're probably better at thrust games after this. Oh yeah. Like I'll maybe be like, some, oh maybe I should play some more thrust. Some games. real master training. Oh. Oh my god. That means I didn't even drop him off. This one's so punishing. <laughs> oh, the one as soon as it went away. No, I'm dying. I'm dying. Rage reset. Kind Rage of. reset. Yeah, especially when we haven't managed to make one landing. You're a bit yet. tired? No, no, I'm still pretty good. I, I, I'm not really like messing up completely. It's a hard, hard, hard one. I don't feel tired, which is good. Which is sometimes the issue when you're doing a marathon game. Um, well, well, when it's at its hardest, you're the most tired. That's kind of like the way <laughs> that's, it's, the that's how it goes, right? And I think this game's a little bit different because every level is such a different skill set. Yeah, you're kind of figuring out the puzzle. Keeps, really? Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why does it have to be one? I don't mind it being one to begin with. Because then it's it's the hardest part's over. And then chances are you're not gonna have to do the one again. Yeah, you won't. As far as I know. Come on. Yeah, your theory is correct. Yep. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. See, it's like ten seconds of nothing, and then double, double shot. I'm guessing these are completely random. I think so too. Otherwise, you know, they'd be more of a, a predictable pattern yeah like the only thing that is predictable is like you got to make sure that you uh you know go near the end of it but yeah. in terms of like how quickly does it like come back this one's kind of hard because you have to be in the right spot and not pressed it you heard it my landing gear did not go down it... that's that's the sequence i like where it's on the way back. Okay, okay, okay. that's... We're happy, everybody's That's probably happy. two, right? That's it's probably gonna be two. Gonna be. Even one would be fine, I'm close to that. It's gonna be two and up. So I believe each pad is used once in each game, in each level, sorry. Yeah, and, he, and yeah, okay. And, and this is a good, even if I die, it's good. Because he's there, and then it's going to be up. Up, please. Hallelujah. And I'm perfectly in oh, position. Oh, dude. Straight okay, up. okay, okay, okay. Ooh, too many hours driving, you must rest by law. <laughs> That's right. Oh, boy. A spectacular level where the seven pads <gasps> plus the refueled ones will move dragged by powerful chair um, metal chains. Obviously, you have to land on moving pads, but this will not be uh, the, great, the greatest difficulty. To move between the various floors, you'll have to go through narrow passages that will periodically be closed by chains. You'll have to move with extreme caution and also pay attention to the fuel, which won't certainly be enough to complete the whole level without <laughs> at least one refueling. See, I'm not going for score for the so the refueling is not a concern because it just takes away score. That's right. There's no time limit. Your taxi doesn't crash because you took too long, only because you ran out of fuel. Fuel. I mean, that is a timer, but because there's fuel on yeah, this level. Yeah, for those uh, speedrunners, dude. That's yeah, just... that's an issue. And for the one, uh, the one life speedrunners. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a lot of fuel used just for that. Number I'm gonna have to refuel them right six, now. Six though isn't too bad. I'm gonna have to refuel right now, I think, because I'm already ha more than halfway down. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of rough landings here. Uh, I can guarantee you that. Six is not too bad. No. All things considered. So there's seven landing pads. So that means there's seven passengers. Or so not seven passengers, seven trips. 
or whatever. Okay, turn around. I can't land on that brick. Okay, ready for a rough landing, Mr. Three Dollars? <laughs> got a great... Oh, got out twice. Whoa! Oh my god, three times. Oh my god, bug bug. Oh no. Okay. Oh no! Why? Why this? Not here, too. Can I stop it? Oh no, I'm gonna have to redo this In the level. middle of a good run as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe if I just die. Maybe die, we'll find out what happens. And he'll stop. I'm sure he'll he get out of the loop. Oh. Oh, is he waiting? On two? Oh, no. He's 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 running away. Get back here. Are you are you are you on level on you? Dude, okay, what are you might, doing, dude? Might, might be a reset. Yeah. I'm going to try for platform 2. Kill the man. This is a bug. So oh, there's him. two of them. Now there are two of them. It's the first time he sees it. <laughs> oh, now there's a guy on me. Okay, cool. cool. Let's just, um, uh... I let him out again. Now there's three of them. Oh, good. Okay, it fixed. I still have... Okay, we're kind of good. We've kind of fixed it. Okay. Because I, I don't want to give up on this level, because I've kind of done some of it already. Yeah, let's see what happens. I kind of reset it. said it's it. better to reset. No, what if they get... Oh no, I don't want to reset. I'll play it through. I won't make it. Yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe I can get rid of that guy in the sky. But we got. We, we I got, bet I. We gotta kill him, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he suggested. I'll kill him. Murder is the way. But it might take my fare away. Does he actually exist? Mm. These are these are like philosophical questions. I pick this guy up first and then oh, kill yeah. him. Oh no, he's gonna get in. Are they both gonna get in? Nope, they're not. Time four. I'm not gonna kill him. He can. He's not doing any harm. He's floating around. He's just there, you know. He's chilling. He's hanging out, doing his thing. Oh god. No. Four. Oh, the bottom. oh seven. Oh, never mind. Because I killed him. That's right. Oh, there we go. That solves that problem. Yeah. Game over. It's a good level. It's not. It's not super hard. There's the. There's the ice cream perfect. Ice cream van. It's the ice cream time. It is. It's nice and hot outside. Or not not great outside for you. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. It's not too yeah. bad. It's just... It's not, I prefer the heat over all other... Well, other extreme conditions, let's say. Over the... A lot of rain constantly. A lot of snow. Um, overcast? Mm, that's fine. As long as, as long as it's not cold. Yeah, I'm all. I'm just. All, I'm just all about the kind of spring fall vibe, you know. Yeah, I love that. Spring and fall's good. My ideal temperature is like. I think I'm like maybe 20. like. Twenty. I'd be more like somewhere between like twelve and like fifteen. Probably Ooh, my ideal. No, it's too cold. Too cold. But I, but I grew up. Sorry, in, Americans. I grew up in minus forty, <laughs> minus oh, thirty, yeah. right? Like that's the thing about growing up in oh like God, what in in Edmonton is so is that like for eight months out of the year it's like negative twenty, so. <laughs> and, I, and that's and for most of my life I lived there. So I think it's also yeah. my body is so used to it. What I noted though that's interesting is if I go um like go to the beach Russian. with um yep. Vancouverites, I'll jump in the in the ocean and start swimming, and oh. nobody can do it. Oh. But for me, I'm like it doesn't affect me at all. Like I love it. I love being in the cold. Oh, that's too cold. But I've noticed this that that's actually something not everyone can no, do. No, I I just can't. I don't. Like you probably just dive into a pool. I like just jump in a deep end right away. I have to like slowly tiptoe in, uh, in, inch by inch, going up my legs and yeah. It's like no. I just think I, I just think my bot. I think I like I was gifted with like um, cold resistance and negative fire res. And so I feel like <laughs> my, my, my stat distribution. You know my like my resistance. Uh. Ooh. Rendered Ghost says, I'm invested. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'm invested in the madness. Invested yeah. in the madness. Okay, I'm, I'm rage resetting. <laughs> <laughs> Should have worn that shirt today. Anytime I'm playing to the end of a game, I gotta wear that shirt. I don't have to ask you what, uh, what level it is, because it's the last one. That's right. 
24. Last one. Not Technically, the last one. no. Technically. It's for those people who finish the last level and go, oh, there's a bonus. I level. need more. Okay, please one more time. Ugh. You have to visit every pad ugh, once. That's as in that's like pick up of, slash drop off? Yes. So there if there's seven platforms, there's gonna be three trips. And then an up. So you have to visit a platform each time. And I think it just is random and then it marks it off and then it goes, okay, what's left? And then it picks random from the ones that are left. Um, Andrea can um, confirm that, but I'm... Oh my God! I should have landed on the fuel and just waited it out. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> When you're doing so much better than me, I couldn't get past level three. Ah! Uh, uh. It's so hard with this one because you almost like once you lose a bunch of lives needlessly, there's almost like a party that's like reset, need all those lives. Yeah, you kind of do on this level. And this is like pretty damn pixel perfect for fire. Tiny passageway. He's kidding. And it's just, and he, it's just so many of them. Like, honestly, the landing on the, he's right, the landing on the chains is really nothing compared to navigating these nothing. narrow, like, cave passageways. Yeah. Right? Landing is the least of your worries. It's not even an issue. Like, you land hard, who cares? Where is it? Seven? I mean, yeah. you're going to have to go to seven. This ain't bad. Yeah. I don't know if this reference but he says this level has a, a Montezuma's Revenge vibe. Uh yeah. Montezuma's Revenge is um a platformer, underground platformer, where you're in um a pyramid type level. Uh, like an Aztec themed um underground and it's in the shape of a pyramid. And it does have that that kind of vibe to it. I don't remember if there's chains in Montezuma's Revenge, but it does feel that way. Okay, we got a passenger. We got we got three lives. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay, this some RNG Squish. might sort of be on our side. We got to refuel though. Yeah, which is good because it's, it's on, on its the way. way. No matter what, it's on its way because I after this I've done four and seven, and I think three as well. So it's just the top ones. This RNG is really good this Had time. Had two. We got three lives. Just go, go take your time, man. You got yeah. this. Just, all you got to do is a refuel, but you got plenty of time to get there. There's no rush. Yeah. Refuel's on the way. Oh, you can die from the fuel! Damn it. Now there's a guy that I... Oh, okay. Don't... Ah, don't want to kill him. I almost killed him right off the bat. Okay, I'll take a five. I'll take a five. Yeah, we'll do it. It's all, it's all good. Oh my god. Hang out here. You got some treats. You can wait just a little bit. He's had like some McDonald's fries and he's like, <laughs> he's like I don't know why I'm not uh, satisfied. Yeah. Why am I not satisfied? I've been eating candy all day. <laughs> bad six. Okay, that's on the way. movement okay, good I like it I like it I like my odds okay, okay that's I knew four was coming this guy here because there was one left there and then what is probably gonna be one um I think I think one is left. Also, three is left. I didn't kill him, so I still need to go down to four, which is fine. I gotta go there at some point. That's right. I'd rather pick up than drop off. Well, not necessarily. Oh my god. The seal is broken on Thrust Plus and. Oh. And the driving controller is out. The only way to play Thrust Plus. 
and the uh, foot pedals. That is the ultimate way to play Thrust Plus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I bought foot pedals just for that occasion. Just so that you could be like set for that game. Set for that game. It's actually, I haven't used the foot pedals in a long time. It would be almost good for this game. Because I believe it's in line with a controller. I think especially it's one of those things too, like if you if you have the skill set with them. Yeah, I don't know if it would work for this one, the, um, the foot pedals. It might be too distracting and like too separated from what you're um, actually doing. Uh, it would have been good for one level. <laughs> the one where it's all crazy yeah. and I could assign them to anything. You would be set. Yeah. Ooh. Don't crush the guy. What is it going to be? Pad 1, but that's unfortunate because I think there's pad 3 left. Shit. And then pad 3 is going to be the up. Ooh, why am I doing it in there? Get out of there. That's just too dangerous right now. Too much craziness. Yeah. Too bad you can't find ways to get more lives as well. Yeah. I don't know how anybody can do 24 levels of this. I guess... On I'll... 5 lives. Oh, I need fuel. 100%. Do not crash into the fuel. Do not collect $200. Oh, okay. At this point, I'd say, sorry, I'm not going that way. Yeah, at this point, you'd be like, guys, yeah. can you just walk between these chains? Like, do you really need, like, you cabs? climb, or do you have a ladder? There's or... got to be a better way. And why do we pick these caves, <laughs> boys, to live in? Yeah, what are you doing here? He's like, no questions. That's what I pay you for. Just take me to pad one. Um, did you ever see that movie Collateral? No. With um, uh, uh, Jamie Foxx and Mel Gibson. Uh, sorry, no, and um, uh, Tom Cruise. No. It's a really good movie. It's about a cab driver who oh, gets yeah. picked up by a hitman. Oh, and then he drives him around to different places uh, to premise. do his things. Great and, premise. And it kind of builds up. And also just so cool to see Tom Cruise as an antagonist. Yes. Um, a lot of these like really amazing like action star guys always have a bit of darkness to them. And in fact, like... <sighs> I wish they played more like villains, like yeah, Arnold as well, type. like Arnold Schwarzenegger. When like, has he played a villain? Um, Terminator One. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. He's like, oh fuck me, oh. no! Oh. Last life. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on. We're so close. He's he's terrifying, you know. Oh yeah, he and, is. That's and, right. And same with Tom Cruise. I don't know how I forgot. That he was the villain in that. And then you, but you never, you never. But yeah, that's a, that's a great cab driver movie. Obviously, Taxi Driver as well is another great oh, cab movie. Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, without a doubt. Oh, good, nice oh. start. Let's but also, it's like five. trying to kill this guy too. <laughs> oh, he lands somewhere where he's not in danger. That's interesting. Oh, that's such a tight squeeze. Okay, let's see. Let's get some RNG. Let's get some good so RNG four, people. I mean, I don't mind having to go do the whole. If he gives me a seven after a four, oh my god, I will be overjoyed. Absolutely ecstatic if I get a seven. Got to start my own uh, a streamy stuff, but I'll have you oh. popped out to see in secret. Great show, thanks. Ah, great, thank you for hanging out. Whoever that was, who was it? Um, a uh, uh, rendered ghost. Ah, uh, <laughs> rendered ghost. Well, uh, good luck with your stream. Have fun. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Tom Cruise in Magnolia, he's the perfect men's oh. right D-bag. Yeah, he's not he's not necessarily the villain in that, but he doesn't play a, like a, a, a good character yeah, he, or a hero he, or anything. He explores like a dark side of humanity, which is so cool to see. Like, oh, uh, yeah, he is so good in that. So yeah, it's a lot of perfect. these... Because I think a lot of these guys who are these action stars are so cutthroat to like get to where they are, but yeah. then their personas are sort of like, oh, geez, you know, like it's... <laughs> Four. Like it. I like it. I'll take a four. And if he gives me a seven, like I said, I'll be over the moon. Yeah, we just gotta deal with this four and seven. Yeah. If it gives me a one and a s oh, I was gonna I say, I was gonna say. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I didn't wanna. Fault. 
didn't want to throw me off. Though. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Please want to go to four. Keeps giving me four, so. Boys and girls, this level is a slow grind. Is a slow grind, and it's very fitting for the last level. Because what Super it is is fitting. it's just it's just the amount of like things you need to do, yep. the margin for error, the fuel. It's just there's so many like factors, yep. and it just feels like and you have to kind of get you just need a perfect run, so many times. You really have to be delicate with um and good work james i don't think i could actually even get through one of these walls i actually don't even know <laughs> i don't know how well i could even get to the like uh cave you know let alone through these multiple layers i knew it oh, my god there's no margin for error dude yeah especially when you haven't even made one it's like yeah the outsiders yeah it's another really another really outside Oh, you can go right to level 25. 20, 20, Good. 20. I don't have to play 24 to get to 25. Thank you for putting that in. I mean, it's in there for testing, obviously. So you don't want to have to play the whole game to test your last level. So seven? That's not a bad Oh, opening. I like it. I if like we got, it. If, if we, and it doesn't even matter, seven to three, you know, yeah. se even seven to four would be sick. Like. Seven to four would be the ultimate. This could be like seven to five, I guarantee it. Yeah, back and forth, the whole thing. And then four, and then one. Uh, but, could be. at least you get it over with. <laughs> yeah, I'll take anything. Yeah, with this one, it's like every little, like, unlike the other ones, like every little, like, uh, drop off is like a huge um, win. It is. Especially with the lives, like doing, yeah, one person live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One trip a life. Maybe you have you to get. give up, smiley face. Pfft, on the last See, level. Dude, come on, like saying no. stuff like that is not gonna make us. Come on, come on. Maybe he's using reverse psychology. This is exactly what he's doing. Bastard. Start telling us about. Oh, giving somebody up. did that. Oh, he's 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 doing a throwback. Um, what did we play the other Careful day? Careful to kill this guy. I yeah. know you're. I know you're on it, but I just wanted a Thank quick you. reminder. Um, we played something the other day. Um, oh, good recovery. Oh, oh my god, please rec come on seven. No. Um, we played something the other day where somebody typed in there, you should just give up. And then I won. Yeah. <laughs> Might be the same person. I think it was Thrust last time. Now you need that fuel, dude. I know you're oh, on it, but I just you. wanted to remind you. Thank you. Anything like that, just let me know. Yeah. Because I may, I was not looking at the. I'm gonna like whatsoever. actually like like because there's a couple times I've seen a few things coming, so I'm actually. Bug. Gonna get the... <laughs> Why the bug now? Because there's no fuel to be gotten. It's just because we don't have any money. <laughs> oh, we don't have any money to buy fuel. I'm gonna die. I have to wait till this turns around. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Yeah. I haven't done anything, so... Yeah, like, there's no point in... I'm not gonna take a life for doing nothing. Yeah, because normally, yeah, uh, you wouldn't be at this level with no money, you know? That's true. The the and theoretically, you should have a ton of money at this point. Oh, just scat. Massive amounts. Just gonna land to this guy. You know what? I'm not upset about having a, if there's like some that we can just get over with, you know? Like if we could like even like a 2-1, like whatever. Like although those are oh, big yeah. ones, yep. it'd be Anything sick. Fast. It'd be nice to cuz I feel like we've some like side by side. Even just to get a rhythm going because man, like the last few times we've been, been struggling through. to even get one it's because they've been so far away. Yeah. And then like factors of like accidentally killing these guys like Okay, let's see. Where is it? 7. I mean, of course. But it's fine, you gotta go there. Gotta go there. Yeah, may as well get it done. And then we get some. Uh, I was gonna say get some money, but I don't know if we're gonna get any money. Well, if I drop them off, I will. I'm a little scared doing that right down to the pixel. But um... Yeah, so you're good. The chain's not gonna hit you anytime soon. No. Just slow and steady in your last move, dude. Matt, last move right here. Take your time. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. What happened? Oh, Too so fast? punishing, it man. It didn't seem it was that fast. So oh. punishing. Oh, thank you, Mr. Five. Oh. I'm just gonna wait around here for a second. Yeah, we need some we need a we need a W. It's just been like I know. constant L's. And just random garbage. I think with this one there's just so many factors that can fuck you up. There is. The the amount of room you have is so small. Yeah, it's, I think it's random each play. It's, it was a RC seven E question. Are the pick up and drop offs yeah, random? Hundred percent. There hasn't been any pattern. It just takes the list of seven that we have here and um just goes what's my fire hit that. Uh just goes what's left. Yeah, we have noted that it appears to be one of those things where you um, they won't repeat numbers, so you just have to get through. So you know, if you've done seven, seven's done. If you've done the whole bottom, the bottom's done. This is the longest time I think I've been on the level. It's yeah, definitely worthy of being the last one. Oh my god, I almost crashed into you. What a surprise. Oh, I'll take it, dude. Oh yeah. I'll take it. Oh my god, oh, we just registered. That should not have. That should not have. Number six, that's solid. Yeah, we'll take a take a five six. Yeah. And just take your time, no rush. Yeah, I'm going up a bit fast before. <sighs> one thrust one way is not the same as like it doesn't even out like that. Um because it depends on how long you're pressing the joystick. And like the simple tap, there is no minimum. Now careful with this thing. Okay, you're good, you're oh good. God. But it's like Oof, the chain was about to. And it's too dangerous. I'm not gonna make it over there and be able to pick him up and not get crushed by the time. And and, and also your fuel too. Yeah. I'm gonna just hang out on number two and then <laughs> barely. And yeah, now you're good, you can now just cover. It's time. Yeah, because you kind of want it to work with you. Like, you can just hover in one spot and it'll come to you. Yes. Like, flying against it is the... It's weird that it does that. Um, oh, that was me. Let's see, let's pressing see. It. Number two. Oh, a nice one. Okay, nice finally, one. like, a little, little, a break. little break. Like, the first easy one we've had in, like, the entire time we've played. <laughs> yes. This it's level. always been on separate levels. Are you going to be a 4-7? It's going to be like 4-1, 4-5. Like this is the way. Yeah. Yeah, every one of these caves is like the risk. Yeah, huge risk. Ooh, got some money. Yeah, it's smart. Ooh! Oh! Ah, I've done one, though. In my head. Of course, he's at the bottom. He says, I think I think I will have to do something to make this middle easier. It's true that it's the last level, um, but also, if it's not impossible, I finished. It's too long. It is long. It's far from impossible. It's... It's... It's so finicky. That's I think, the problem. I think, too, this is, might be one of those ones where that resolution does affect us because he's such narrow, um, oh, such so narrow funny. margins, right? Like, the up, especially getting through these. Right here? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, right through those openings, it's... There's the difference of, like, pixels. Like, three pixels on each side of your taxi. And to keep track of your... your um, yeah, if you want to make... Oh my god, I forgot that thing was coming. If you want to make the openings a little bit bigger. Even just like, like a... Shift even, it over. Even like a pixel, dude. Yeah, pixel. Like one or two to make it even or whatever you need to do. Um, because it's be certainly a, not impossible, but you're right that this is a long time to spend on a level. Yeah. Everything else you can't really do much about on this level except for those openings. I also think too that this one just so like it's like it's hard when you're playing a level where you like barely make it and then at a certain point you're just you're just kind of like actually like you know you need all your lives. Yeah. So if you die a couple times without delivering, you're just resetting. Yeah. And that's kind of like oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. That is close as hell. 
like I said, there's very little margin for error in those those little caves. And even even these even these areas, like none of it is. Let's see, what did we get? Five. You five. Of course. I did. I say it. I was like, <laughs> like I said it. <laughs> I feel like I'll need to defend from cats. We have a new, we yeah. have a new obstacle. They know I'm the person who feeds them, so they're gonna be on me, jumping on me. He's he's coming up. He's thinking about Don't it. Don't worry, I'll I'll block the. Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> There's still four and seven to fuel do. Fuel as well. Well, I don't need fuel, thankfully. Yeah, just distract him with cuddles. I don't care how long this takes. I'm gonna do it. I'm not coming back to this after all these levels. That's what Twitch is all about, right? Marathon. That's right. Get, getting the job done. Getting it. Going in. Yeah. So much hair, dude. Yeah, he needs a brushing. I'm sorry. That's okay. Because it's gotten really hot lately, so... So, his... so he's like, yeah, I gotta shed. Gotta do the shedding. I'm really milking this level, just beat it already, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I thought, we're... you know, I want to die once in a while, and... Number one? Ooh, oh, God. One. Like I said, it's time to feed her, so I'll catch the rest of this and reply. Fantastic <laughs> port. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, dude. And I think it's an insane that you've made it this far, James. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, I, I didn't know how it was going to work out. I thought I'd be, like, skipping levels. Like, not being able to complete them and skipping them. But once, once it started going, I'm like, okay, okay, I can do it. Fuel, dude. <gasps> Thank you. I know you don't have that much money, but you're, I don't think you can make it without the fuel. No. It's already beeping at me. It wasn't... Oh. You heard two beeps. Oh. Two beeps. And it didn't put my landing gear out. Oh, four. No. No. <laughs> so punishing. <laughs> I need my lives. Yeah, it's oh. kind of... That is a sign of a, of a level that's real hard, is when, like, you literally, at a certain point, you've calculated, you're like, I can't do this. <laughs> yes. Like, it's actually, like, I won't be able to do it. Let's just reset. Exactly. And it's All not... those people hanging in, thank you so much. And it ain't like we're going for a world Hardcore. record either. We're just literally trying to beat a level. <laughs> yes. He said, I suggest you just go on with level 25. Let me give one do, more I think, shot. I think that's a good point. Let's do one more. This is your last go. Yeah. And do this one, like, faithfully. Like, try yeah. to finish it. Use all your levels. But, yeah. Yeah. Because it's also, what, it's almost 5. Actually, no, it is. It's 5.15, so. Oh, poor cats. And I got to feed the cats, too. Yeah. That's true. I got to get on with Nick my day, too. Everyone has to leave. I didn't sign up for this, man. Oh no, it's all good. It's three just, hours. I don't. I don't mind. What are you doing um, to me? I don't mind at all. But um, but I do. I did have yeah, some plans did. this evening. <laughs> okay, we're going level twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think once you pass the three-hour mark. Yeah. This is not an after dark. <laughs> this is this. This is a show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I finished level twenty four. Dude, twenty four. So Easy good. Stuff. Oh, it's breeze. I can't. Dude, I can't believe like the ending of level twenty four was amazing. <laughs> Just shooting up into the air, Wolfenstein. So read the. Uh... Oh my god, the ambulance! Is that guy gonna shoot me? Here he is, isn't it? Yeah. Thirteen DLIs and three different character sets for the mysterious level will be playable, only completing in a single round all twenty four levels in three shifts. The sprites defending the three pads of this level celebrates as many masterpieces 
the software house Muse, which um, published Space Taxi back in the 80s. A not so difficult game, but a great satisfaction for you to reach the end of the game before the congratulations. What are you talking about? A not so difficult level? <laughs> oh, sorry, a not so difficult level, but oh, a great satisfaction. Oh, I thought you said I read, you misread game, and I was like, dude. What are you I don't know about this not being a, such a difficult level. I already missed it. Get in the taxi, quick! Ah, go! Oh my god, so intense. Which one is it? Number two. That's not too bad. At least I did the hard one. I mean, you don't have to navigate through like four tunnels that are pixel that perfect. That guy's super slow. That guy's medium. The, the, that ambulance is brutal. Okay. I'm going to be on that side. Maybe it's not too bad. I should do, be able to do it now. As long as Mr. Nazi doesn't get out of here. There we go. Off I think he was go. right, and also a difficult level. No, it's, it's well. Easy. What I think is the ambulance was was challenging. Although we didn't triumph. Congratulations! Although we didn't triumph over level twenty four, yeah. I think we gave it like uh, a fair shot. Hundred percent. And um, and I think to beat that level, you would just you'd also need to just like kind of the randomness to work right. Like you would need to have a little bit of yeah, because it can be brutal. Like top, bottom, top, bottom, bottom top. And then run out of fuel. Oh, 323 points. <laughs> so. I think that's a big bonus just for finishing the game. I think so, yeah. Oh, boy. That was... That was an adventure, man. Uh, that's that's no, a no, cheese no, so we, can, we can't do that. <laughs> okay. That is a awesome, awesome game. Andrea, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to sh quickly show the manual because he did say he wanted to show the manual. This is what we've been reading from. Um, actually, I will go to web page view and do that on the right just so it's bigger. Uh, view, page display, single page. There we go. That's better. Um, so this is the manual that you'll get with the game. And you can see um what uh the explanation of how the game came about um we missed the first couple reading out the first couple because we were playing them but we i think we read them from like level five onward or something yeah uh, a little bit of help with each level a little bit of explanation um and uh and we discovered to be key for a lot of things too like just some, yes. like some of these concepts like per introducing S like especially the one with the balls and the the invisible shields in between yeah i think that boy would have taken us a while to figure out we almost were oh, like yeah. borderline like bug <laughs> yeah we were at first it's like oh it's a bug get out of here um and it tells you what the panel is there's the taxis how much money you've earned what you need to do next uh your tip what hour you are in, uh, your fuel gauge, um, and also if you have a hard landing. Uh, during passenger boarding and alighting, the upper light goes off while the lower light is steady red. Um, speed, is, speed is at a risk if you go too fast. Okay, so lots of indicators. Remember to always keep the fuel level under control um, because normal ride price is five to, for delivery, 10 if you change level can be increased by the bonus amount okay so yeah the, th the longer you take to deliver the person the less tip you get and you can't get fuel um absolutely stunning great audio with the speed amazing game dude the look is perfect homage to the c64 version um the game of course itself is is awesome <laughs> and the port is great uh, yeah. and it's such a classic c64 game and it's great that it's now going to be available. Now it is available soon. Beta will be released in the next days. Next days, Game and Manual will be available on this page on Atari 8-Bit Computer's Italian website. And I'm sure it'll be linked in the Atari Age forums under their thread. Um, yeah. And it's always, I actually find, I think it's cool when we find a bug because then it's like, yeah. you know, it's, it shows something. And it, not, it wasn't game breaking. It only happened no. once and never repeated. So Yeah, it was just on that level. This is a, that one moment. It always feels good when you can do that. It's you can like... contribute a bit somehow. Mm -hmm. And um, so coming, uh, and I want to thank Andrea. Thank you so much uh, for allowing us to be the 
place where we could do yeah, the premiere of it. Thank you so and much. Thanks for pushing awesome uh, back a couple hours for me. I had a thing that I had to go to, so yeah, the time. I just appreciate it that. Better for him, so he was really happy about it too. Uh, maybe without the double man bug. <laughs> um, so next upcoming shows we have two more world premieres two more Damn. exclusive world premieres on the second uh, next show is uh tuesday but we we're not going to be here uh there's be no show on tuesday but we're back next friday with kara muho uh a snail game for the 2600 cool. exclusive world premiere um and also a mystery game that we slowly revealed over time mm. but you will know it before we do the show and we'll have a live interview with old style the person who did lunar patrol and mario brothers absolutely both absolutely stunning games uh you do not want to miss that exclusive world premiere for the atari 7800 it is gonna blow your mind they always <laughs> make fun of me when i say that um because <laughs> i say it a lot because it does, it blows my mind. Um, and later on, June, July, August, we're going to be playing Turbo Arcade, a whole new reworking of uh, Champ Games Turbo Arcade. Super awesome. Elevator Agent as well. Uh, probably the final version of Elevator Agent. He was pretty good. Um, very good testers. Well, we'll try and play through the game and and mess up a lot so right. <laughs> uh great resource for atarians well thank you we we try to um yeah cafe man 2d supply. we're near the end but that's okay <laughs> find us on youtube is he joking he's I not don't, i don't see him anywhere so. oh wow you did miss it all there's a lot to watch watch it on youtube or rewind on twitch um three yeah, hours of space taxi you'll be there man don't worry awesome game watch for it for a download check it uh, out see if you can beat level 24 yeah yeah that's that's honestly that's the end that's game right there such a but you got to get through all of the ones first yes. you know yeah. before Work your you way earn up. it it's good practice to get through those you will need it maneuvering that space taxi by the time you get to level 20 and i know tonight i'm checking out some world record runs of this game oh i want to see that too i want to see them handle I just want to, I think that it just amazing, it would just be amazing to see. I feel like I have a, a deep respect for the skills required for this kind of game, so it'd be very cool to see. Mm hmm. Space Taxi to the theme of Goldfinger. I don't know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Not a huge fan of uh, James Bond, except yeah. for uh, some of the the newer ones yeah there's when some it was good, reworked yeah there's some good ones with like the daniel craig era is kind of a neat era yeah. there's de like pierce brosnan era has some pretty wild uh thank stuff. you for staying up oh it's 2 30 thank you so wow. much man uh, that's good it's a friday there yeah that's that's good um so well, uh, l l last words i just want to say is man yeah. thank you so much for like taking 10 years to like make yes, this game to and follow through the, and make a masterpiece and and like and pull together all the details and to persevere and I, yeah. you mentioned in the thing like there's lots of stuff that came up it's just it's amazing that you like created well, this game and um and yeah just like yeah. just honestly huge thumbs up for myself as i'm yeah. really amazed by the beauty and artistry of pulling together such a complicated port and yeah. all the challenges and and uh even james couldn't beat the last level i couldn't um, um, I tried. I really gave it a go, as you can see. Yeah, huge thumbs up for for pulling through on this yeah. one. Um, Beautiful and work. It being one of my favorite games on my on the C sixty four was absolute pleasure and honor to do the exclusive world premiere for this game. So super awesome. And How can I... it be? It's five minutes difference in Switzerland <laughs> than in Italy. Interesting. Somebody's clocks off. <laughs> and and I couldn't beat level four. So if you can beat level four, <laughs> you're you kicking better ass. than me. You're doing well. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Uh, Phil San, Andrea Atari, big shout outs to both of you. Uh, Prow7, VVG Double Down, couldn't have done it without your joystick. That awesome was key joystick. for one of those levels. Oh, yeah. Uh, Caffman 2 d Vitoko, Dan ABC, Al Nefer, Rendered Ghost, uh, good luck with your stream. Chelsea Donnie Mao, Gamma Dev, uh, Mike Latow, uh, Metal Lunar. Um, oh, I don't know, I can, oh, Bobo Cujo. Yay. Oh, that's a new name. Welcome. Uh, Chitlit La. Uh, Om One Die Vintage People. That's a crazy name. Old Style. Hey, Old Style. Be talking with you in a week and a bit on the show. Coach God's Up. Uh, lots of new names. That's great. 
and everybody else who was um, lurking. Uh, 227 in Germany. I guess time is progressing now. So that's, that's right. That's, that's right. all worked out. I uh, missed you saying Beef Supreme early. I have to watch it on YouTube. Beef Supreme. There you go. There you go. You got it. Um, so remember, next Tuesday, we're not here, but we're back on Friday with another world premiere. Definitely tune in. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks and so have much, a great guys. weekend. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.